Yeah, that's real. Yeah. We all have goals. You know what I'm saying? So you wouldn't be around somebody that you wasn't that wasn't a mutual beneficial thing. You know, but I'm I've I'm um I've been in business for a long time, so I understand the value of being valuable to others. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's never even something that I like uh that I'm even aiming to be. I guess it's just a characteristic that I feel should be in everybody. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what I, mean? I don't think I disagree with that. Mm-hmm. I disagree with that because if that was the case then everybody would be the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you got I, and, assholes and, on deck. Yeah. So you there's mm-hmm. things that we have to work on to to really stand out and it's certain levels of characteristics that only people who deserve to be able to tap into that taps into it. So the idea of me being valuable to someone else and that's my first approach with things changes the whole dynamic of relationships that I have with people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's, you know. Because even depending on the relationship, it doesn't matter. Everybody's, you're fucking with that person because there's something that you're gaining whether it's like enjoy enjoyment from their energy, no, ma- their jokes, they smell it, good. It's something beneficial. There. Something is there that you, and that's the reality. That's the raw reality of things yeah, that, that you want try. around you. Yeah, exactly. And people try and play it like, oh man, I just want to be with you because you're you. No, mm-hmm. you you you're extracting some value from that person in one way or another that's personal to you, mm-hmm. and unless you divulge, depending or, on the value. Exactly. You, whatever you deem valuable. That's what it is, bro. And, mm-hmm. and 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 when you get to that place and you deal with people who understand that and is accepting of that and even able to articulate that, mm-hmm. then you find genuine people. Because you know that it's like there's some value there that I that you have. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna one, I'm not gonna not reveal to you what is valuable to me mm-hmm. so that you don't know so that you would know, mm-hmm. hey. This is where my someone is valuing this is my me. Strength, yeah. yeah, this is my strength right here. So let me. Pour. Some people don't do that for fear of ego boosts. I know? I think that there's this idea in people's mind that um, if I reveal my intention to you, then there's a vulnerability there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you, it, for me personally, I live yeah, in and then a skepticism of like, oh, you only want me because I'm this. I mean, well, some motherfucker, pe- like, what, what, what are you? What is a good characteristic of you? Like, some people feel like that though. I, I like well to even tie into like one of the deep conversations we had at the last yeah. event. Um, the event before that, I just wasn't there because I had personal stuff going on, yeah. and usually I'm very good at masking my things yeah. and. Being the host and being in the moment, yeah. but I couldn't muscle it that night. I was really pissed. At, it was car troubles, yeah. and I had a, I had like shout out to Manifest. Manifest saved me that That's night. That's my dog. I could not. The, in the back of my mind, the whole time was like, "Fuck! If I had to go somewhere right now, I can't." I can't yeah. And that's different when you have that mindset switch to like being able to. You know what I mean? So like that. That whole process in a moment like that, I had to host and I had to be the happy guy meeting new people. Yeah, I was not in that mode at all, and it was the first time in my life where like I wasn't there. I, I learned. Tell. I learned. No, that was. I don't think you, you guys weren't there. It was okay. the week before that. Okay. That that was when I was like, okay, no, I'm not letting that happen again. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm still fucked up, by the way. Like at that moment, that mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, yo, I'm not going to let... The, I'm going to be in the moment, in the energy, and really ride through it and mm. see how different the night is. Yeah. And God motherfucking damn it. <laughs> it was good. It was... <laughs> it was all my fault. So, like, I was late. C- keep in mind. So, like, I didn't get a chance to do... Sa- the week before you weren't there, I didn't get mm. a chance to do sound check. I got there at 8. Mm-hmm. Usually I get there at, like, 4 or 5. Mm-hmm. I got there at 8. I was rushed. Didn't get a sound check. Blah, 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 all those things because of car trouble. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That shouldn't change the fact of me being polite and 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 receiving to the other artists. You, uh, you know? want to know, I, I, yeah, I, as, as far as a host, to finish what I mean, like, like what that, I agree. that one where you saw me engaged and like, I agree. And I, was, I, disagree. I was fully attentive to everybody around. I agree and I disagree. And because reason- like, I was, I had space to like I understand, yo, I. I'm the reason. You know, it starts at the top. The person with the You're microphone right. at the top, 
You're right. Like, no, it starts at the top. You're right. Yeah. I, but I'm going to tell you why I agree and disagree, right? I understand mm-hmm. that there's that level of stress where you place upon yourself to try and operate at a higher, mm-hmm. you know, value yeah. than, you know what I mean, than most. But you have to also allow your, yourself to have the space for humanity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... And just be real. That night I wasn't being real. That's, but I, it's not I, that even, night I didn't tell people I was fucked up. Nah, Usually I'm like, yo, I'm but fucked you don't up. Ha- you don't have to do that though. If if I if I would have, I, I usually no, no, just no, be you honest don't have to. Now nah, you don't have to do that. And mm-hmm. this is why I said I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you why I say mm-hmm. that though. I'm gonna tell you why I say that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to tell people I'm fucked up right now. That's why I'm acting the way that I'm acting. Yeah, not right get now. personal. That's not. Yeah, what I but mean. I, yeah, but it's still it's at the same time though. You have to allow yourself. And it's to what process I'm, what even's happening. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So, so a lot of times, and I'm, I be in that space as well, where it's like you're trying to get to the next level. You're mm-hmm. trying to accomplish. You're trying to be the better version of yourself. You're sharpening yourself. You're going through the gauntlet. You're in the fire. You're just mm-hmm. going through it all. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, I usually be there at four, and I'm here at eight today. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, it's fucking me up. Well, it starts at seven. So it starts like, at seven. You know, I'm Christ. fucking late as shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but the thing about it is, is that. There is a certain level that you should like keep within yourself. It shouldn't be much of it, but something of a mm-hmm. reprieve for self. You get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. for you personally, it doesn't matter. Me, me, mm-hmm. I don't really give a fuck what nobody thinks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I live a life where I don't really give a fuck what nobody thinks. As an artist, me. though, like as much as you want to say, like I'm an artist. If I cared about what people think, I wouldn't be an artist because that's what happens. Mm-hmm. No, like you care. Like, and for me, for me specifically. I care. It's why I make every genre. If if someone says like, "Yo, that rap and shit is terrible," I'm like, "Yo, what kind of bands?" Do I'm you gonna tell to? you. Uh, so I'm a drummer. You're gonna hate on a drummer. You're gonna hate on a percussionist. Okay, so I can't drum how you want it. Okay, you like singers. You like singers. Yeah. okay. You don't like auto tune. All right. Well, here's it. Oh, you like poetry. So the, his, oh wait, his, hold on. You like paint. I got you. His, That's his, actually literally an artistic fear of not being liked. I got you. That's what stems. A lot of my, it, it's what fuels a lot of my exploration to go to other things. It's like, no, I know that I would like this motherfucker if we had a conversation about peanut butter and jelly. Right. Like, he just thinks that we're not the same because he, he likes coffee and I like chocolate milk. Like, so it here's, doesn't, here's it the thing, doesn't here's mean a, we're not homies. Like, here's the thing about that, that's right? A, that's, a, that's actually a longing of humanity right there. I get you. Which is stemmed from my artistic expression. I get you. To like reach to everybody. I get you. I get Which you. Which is kind of weird, but... I'm going to tell you this, though. Yeah. Here's the thing about that, right? And this is why I don't dabble in that personally. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to judge... Yeah, in like art, art. Just in, in general, though. Mm-hmm. Me personally, right? Um, when I first started rapping, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I fucking sucked. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't... It, I didn't suck and I know I sucked. I sucked and I knew I sucked. Well, not to cut you off, rap is a very interesting art because it's a competition, like... It can be Art is subjective, but rap was like is more of like one on one basketball. I'm gonna tell you, but it can be, but it's not really. It shouldn't be, but it is. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I say that though. Mm-hmm. Because if you me versus me, it then you're just trying to best yourself. That's you know why. Yeah, every genre. So like so now that, I compare. So here's the thing with that though. So versions it, of me. Yeah. So here's the thing with that, right? Mm-hmm. So for me personally. Um, I already know that people are going to have their preconceived notions on what they think is or isn't. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I don't live there. Yeah. I only live in a space where I'm in a space Expectations. where... Expectations. Yeah. I, 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 I don't live there at all. I don't think about no one's expectations of me. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I fall short of some people's expectations. And then sometimes people realize I'm way above what their expectations of me is. And for mm-hmm. me, it's, it all is what it is. It, 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 it all computes to me it's as the same. So if somebody, yeah. so if somebody looks at me and say, uh, you fell short of my expectations, mm-hmm. it doesn't negatively affect me. As the same way as somebody says, you've mm-hmm. exceeded my expectations yeah, astronomically. It's the same difference for me See, it's personally. interesting when you say that because when i when i relay that to me it's just like for example that night where i shit the bed that i feel like i shit the bed as a host someone else that night was like yo i had so much fucking fun tonight so if i tell them that i shit the bed they're gonna th- that can dull lower theirs. their expectation but yeah. then if someone else is like yo all that th- does this, is- this wasn't good and i'm like yo i did really good in my head but, i'm about to tell you though but that. all that all that but does it's is an, it, it's an interesting thing that's yeah. what i'm saying it all it does is and that's mm-hmm. where it runs back to me where it's like you mm-hmm. shouldn't give a fuck yeah 
because being balanced it, it, well that's it, the part about being an artist you genuinely deep down don't care about what people think you because, do some of them do though some I, artists no i do i'm, I'm that's what i'm, I'm saying that's the, admit it, but that's i don't thing. let it i don't let it coast it, there's me no way it, i'm gonna tell you why there's no way make my sales go Mo- in any certain I'm direction like this, both, you know that, that's impossible i'm just aware of it i'm, I'm just a, aware of it i'm gonna tell you that's, mu- you know tell you that's mutually impossible because this is what i'm saying unless you genuinely and this is this is the fact Unless you genuinely don't care, then if you do care, mm-hmm. you can slide to yourself and say that it's not going to mo- move the sail or move the mm-hmm. boat, but it will. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You have to really get to a place where you genuinely don't care. And me personally, mm-hmm. I genuinely don't give a fuck about what no one thinks about me at all. Mm-hmm. You got to understand, right? K-Go, right? Mm-hmm. That's my artist. Mm-hmm. The motherfucker got way more followers than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I care. I know. And it's okay. That, I'm, ta- I'm, not, I'm, not, listen, I'm not gonna knock you. I'm not gonna knock you. That's okay. But most mm-hmm. people care. Mm-hmm. So unless you get to the space, the the, the space that you're longing for mm-hmm. is a space where you don't care. And the reason the only way that you can get there is through self-discovery. So like with K Go, right? K Go fucking respects me. You mm-hmm. see how our interactions is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not no it ain't no mm-hmm. motherfucking like he's K Go, blah blah. No, mm-hmm. that's my little bro. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And he already know what the fuck time it is. Like the shit that I'm saying right now, he mm-hmm. would stand here and nod his head yes to the things I'm saying right now. That's my motherfucking little bro. Once he comes back with the vape. <laughs> Without the vape. I'm joking. He, I know what you're saying. He, I, and look, for the podcast, you know what I'm saying? He needed a vape and I didn't get it for him. I don't associate I don't I don't really give a fuck about No, that's so real that's that. real shit though because no, that's so that's why I wanted to compare it to even alcohol earlier or anything. Like when yeah, you, when about. you're around somebody that like you feels like, yo, this is like I don't agree with that. You, this is your situation. You fucked up. You can't get it. I'm not going to condone and getting you what I disagree with. Now you're making me be a, an accomplice in something that I don't like. And I agree with the cigarettes. Like, it, cigarettes but there's, are there's a, a why behind bro. it, though. There's no, no, a- I understand, though. No, that's what I'm saying, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I understand it across the board. But because I've been on both sides, because I've been there on the side of like marijuana type shit. Like, yo, being in another state, you're the one who knows people who has bud, but you don't smoke weed, so you won't get me weed. That's like, I'm pissed. I want the weed, dog. I'm fucking pissed. But at the same time, you really can't be pissed because this motherfucker doesn't even indulge in that life and can't even understand what it is. But like, so that's why comparing other things to it, it's 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 still not the same, though. But um, But even tied into... That still ties into characteristic traits and what we're talking about, about being wanted and being liked and stuff. So, like, mm-hmm. do you do you want to be liked so much for, like, yo, no, I need that weed right now and you're not going to get it from me. Fuck it, I'm going to go get it myself. And if it makes you mad, you know what I mean? That's That's where, like, these things happen as far as artistry. It's all connected with I... For example, these open mics, is a different crowd every time. Right. So I perform different music every time because I set it off. I break the ice. So I'm performing a different genre every time. But there's at least 40, 30, 40% of the time, I'm like, I look at the crowd that pulls up because it's different. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, I got to change the songs I'm doing because I'm aware of the demographic of what, what I, I want. I disagree. No, it's not like that. No, I'm, ta- I'm talking like... Fe- songs for females. I get what you're saying. Versus, I totally like, understand <laughs> what you're saying. Like, so I know that th- I know dudes can get down with it, but it, I it, understand it, it where you're coming into from. A, it changes how I perform it, because because I perform for I a way that would for be for ladies. But if they're not there, then I have to. All right, I should rap a little bit. Tonight. I agree with that. I yeah. should rap a little bit. You know that that all changes depending on the demographic that's in the building that night. Here's the thing. That's all. That's all tied into the same thing of wanting mm-hmm. to be liked. Cause if I do some shit I get that's you, like bro. some poppy, buggy, dancey shit, and they're like, Here's "Dog, the thing, I though. wanted to hear some stoner shit or whatever." Here's the thing, though: expectations are always, always different, especially I, as an artist. I totally understand that, bro. One hundred percent. It is interesting, but here's mm-hmm. what I say about that, right? It's all just like this the whole time. But I'm gonna tell you, but <laughs> it's, it's, like, not, it's, it's not as complicated as you think, right? Mm-hmm. So, say for instance, no, you, not, yeah, you just do what you want at the end of the day. Yeah, so say for instance day. you put out some shit that you wanted to put out and they fucked with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You did you 100% and they fucked with it. Yeah. Then what? You know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate like place to be. So my whole thing is is that it, for me personally, right? Mm-hmm. Even like if we bring it back to the vape, right? The reason why I don't fuck with the vape is because the vape is new. 
Mm-hmm. And so I was I was bringing a Russell Brand and a COVID shot. You're aware how it's a new thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's new. Yeah. And, and I've seen how cigarettes was a new thing at one point in time when my grandfather's age and mm-hmm. what it did to him where he was on that wave with the cigarettes and he did his thing with the cigarettes. He bought them by the carton. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He was the man when it comes to the cigarettes because that was the thing in his time. Yeah. And it killed him. So it's like, you know, for me personally, I've seen that and I'm seeing this now. And it's like, bro, this vape shit is untested and y'all are eating it up. Yeah. I'm not going to meet Nah, personally. we know the vape's bad. We know that shit's nah, bad. Nah, but, but how bad is the question. People you know what I'm saying? up from the different That's what I'm saying. Vapes. How bad is it? So it's like, you know, you're vaping, so mm-hmm. you're going to be the test dummy just like my grandfather was when it came to the cigarettes. And mm-hmm. I would hate to see that for, yourself, for, you, for you personally. So it's a reason behind it. It's not just me telling you that I don't no, like vapes. No, that's what I mean. So I've been on both sides of it. That's, that's what I'm saying. So like I understand from the perspective of just wanting to smoke a vape versus from the perspective of like nah dog i'm not doing that you know what i mean it's like just, the, I, as as much I as i don't smoke them but i just don't associate yeah. myself i don't mm-hmm. associate myself with trying to you know mm-hmm. if i don't agree with something then i'm not going to add to your destruction personally that's just how i operate but yeah you know. i mean people are going to do what they want to do exactly which is like yeah but not on my watch yeah not on my accord god forbid the vape that you paid for is the one that explodes while he tries to hit it but I don't know what now. Now when he chose to go, his face is fucking gone. I don't even. I don't about, know. Oh no! Now you're old enough to get a vape without an ID because I can't even see your face because your vape exploded. I, that's <laughs> funny shit. <laughs> I don't know what could happen with those vapes, but me personally, I'm not the type. Of, me personally, if I don't agree with something, then I'm not gonna add to that. You get what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like. If you want to do it, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to say mm-hmm. you. I'm not going to be the one to protest against whatever it is that you want to do. But it's it not depends. Be I'll do it me. with you, but it depends. I'm not doing it at all. <laughs> not, yeah, I'm not, not doing vape. it at all. Vapes are bugged. I mean, I've like I've I've hit one before, and like, dude, bait. I take big, big bong rips, mm-hmm. bro. Like mm-hmm. big dabs. Mm-hmm. I know what hurts lungs. A baby hit at that vape is. So it fucks you up like that? Like, it hits you. It oh, hits you shit. right away. Oh, my God. It, do, it kind of gives you a lightheadedness. It kind of, So I guess it gives you a little head high, but yeah. it's not... It's nothing crazy. That's why I never smoked cigarettes. cigarettes. It was, it was yeah. never It was never something that got you fucked up. You know what I mean? Crazy. But, but, but other than that, but, as far as... Uh, oh, by the way, guys, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. Oh. It's your boy, Buggy. <laughs> yeah. How are you, dude? Yeah, good, man. <laughs> hey, we just got into it, man. We, didn't even do it. Yeah, we, we really just, have like really deep conversations, like just offline all the time. You know what I'm saying? We'll be having the middle of the show, bumping music. We'll just be talking like this on the side yeah, of the speaker, real talk. <laughs> like right on the side of the speaker. Yeah, real talk. Okay. At the end of the show last uh, last week, I um when I was rapping on my shit up, the homie stepped on the fucking mouse trap. I don't know if you saw that. That was like at the very end. No, I didn't see it. No. Like yeah, because we extended the night. Usually we do freestyles at the end, but oh yeah, the sound. The sound went out. The board mm. went out. Yeah. We got a new board and shit. Yeah. That's why we're I got, doing I took a one picture of you so that we can get in free next time. Yeah. No, we're doing another one next Friday. Nah, I'll good. be there. You're good. Now nah, I'm good. fucking around. Let's just. I only. No, you guys are good. You said that, but you said to take a picture, so I just did the joke of did taking I? a picture. Yeah. Oh, you was like, awesome. take a picture of me, and then you can get in free. I'm like, oh yeah, snap. Is that, what I, is that what I sound like? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm fucking around now. <laughs> no, that's the character. The high pitch. That is my character, literally. It's yeah. just light, lightweight. Be chill, bro. Just fucking vibe. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The week before that, to like even connect into the other convo, I was not okay and i've never i've never before let anything control how i act at a show but when you're doing something where you just like where you just like straight up want to be curled up in a ball and just sleeping i was like not energetically there and and then i was like all right i'm gonna test myself was it really my fault last week sucked and then i did i was like yeah can I say something to you? Though? Million percent. It was. Can my I give? Can I give? You, <laughs> it was my fault. Though. Can I give you a trophy though? This time was because of the, tra- can the channel. Can I give you? A, mm-hmm. Can I give you a fucking trophy though? I'll take a trophy. The fact that you fucking showed up. Not part. I don't want a participation trophy. Though. Nigga, no, hell no. <laughs> That's not a participation trophy, bro. Mm-hmm. Most motherfuckers, if they don't feel like showing up. Yeah, I was not there. That's what I'm saying. If they don't feel like showing up, they're mm-hmm. not. And, man- you didn't and feel- manifest save my ass, bro. You didn't you know? feel like showing up, mm-hmm. and you fucking showed up. That's fair. that's the that's the key right there. And most people don't have that inside of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's greater than how they feel at the moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They they go based off of how they feel. And mm-hmm. the fact that you fucking showed up, 
I just knew like that, the day bro, before when my car fucked up, I was like, I have to be there. Bro, I have the, to find the, a way that, there. That right there, to. that right there speaks more about you as a person mm-hmm. that is so ready for what is coming for you. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, you're gonna be super successful, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it here, right now. Like the, guy. the 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 that right there mm-hmm. alone is enough. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Just your personality and who you are to be able to show up when you don't fucking feel like it. Mm-hmm. And you did. You get what I'm saying? You were late, yeah, but you fucking made it, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That means yeah. everything right there. You don't, you have no idea. That speaks more to the universe than anything. You showing up when you feel like showing up, and then you not showing up when you don't feel like showing up speaks more to the universe than anything that's going to... Mm-hmm. Bring back to you what it is that you're chasing, what it is that you want to accomplish. But I would, yeah, and that's huge because it ties. No, it ties into how I felt. Like I knew what I know, what I offer, know what I do, and know how important my role is. And absolutely, and the local scene and shit. And I was like, all right, I'm taking. Like I'm gonna actually be myself this time, and not like it's. And it had nothing to do with where because I'm in the same oh spot. By the way, yes, because I'm in this. I was in the same spot. There was no mental security that was different than two weeks prior or three weeks prior. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I was in the same kind of like, because I'm still climbing out of that situation. Yeah, like car yeah. troubles are a bitch. Everybody yeah. who has a car yeah. understands that. Yeah. Car insurance, all that, like everything. one, yeah. Wear and tear. Mm-hmm. It's just, when something happens, it all happens. Yes. And that's, I get it, bro. And, that's, and, it happened on the, and it happened the day before the gig. Yeah. So it turned into like a scrambling thing for a few weeks. But 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 that being said, that not that that hadn't switched much, that I was still progressing in it. Yeah. I was completely, fully aware, like, okay, I'm going to choose to be who I actually am here and dive into the character of who I am versus where I'm at. So can I say and, this? And, and, it, it was, it, and it was a weird thing because Bugs is Brandon. Yeah. I am Bugs. Bugs is not an alter ego of who I am. Right. I like every genre. I listen to every genre. Yeah. So like that's why I make every genre as Bugs. So I was like, okay, if I can just be Brandon for real tonight and not let my life, like the second I get in this building kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And bro, the night was completely different uh, can i say this to completely you? different that's, i mean not different like the other ones <laughs> it was like the other ones that speaks to my point though about mm. when um with you when it comes to trying to give people what they want mm-hmm. me personally what did i want i wanted to have fun that's, that's what i'm point. saying that's why i throw these shows that's well, why i do that, this shit. but it's not even just that though it's just i didn't you, even want to have fun the week before like literally i didn't i didn't care about it i say this though yeah. i say this though that's the point, though. People's and they and what what's fun to them changes person to person, mm-hmm. and you remain constant. So as long as you're just yourself in every situation, and mm-hmm. that's what I do, man. Like the person that mm-hmm. you're getting right now, I'm the same. I'm going to be the mm-hmm. same. That's the thing about me. I'm not. I, you have to, and that's what I said. some of these mm-hmm. artists. I'm gonna say this. Alter, I'm gonna alter egos of these people. I'm, but I'm gonna tell you like this. Them. It's they're... a lot of artists that's like that. So yeah. when you come across somebody like mm-hmm. myself. And this happens a lot where people think that I'm just putting on this like, you know. The role. Yeah, I can see your role. So they're searching for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're searching for who the fuck they think that I am. Just a box, yeah. Yeah, and I don't exist in one. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of reasons behind it. And that, you know, if you dive deep into whatever my, you know, situation is, Mm -hmm. you will realize why. Mm -hmm. So like them, that Mm -hmm. that, D2 Crazy, that's my little brother. K Go, that's my little brother. Mm -hmm. They live... They see my life. Mm-hmm. They see how I live. You know what I'm saying? And I never transform change for nobody. Mm-hmm. Ever. You know what I'm saying? The person that you see in front of you is going to be a genuine person. Mm-hmm. So it's no, it's not nothing that you got to think about on the other side where it's like, okay, well, what about, you know, in this situation? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be the same motherfucker in every motherfucking situation. That's just who the fuck I am. You're, that's just, I, I, I don't know how to be any other way. Yeah. And, but it gives you, there's, there's pros and cons to that though. Yeah, as far as being like real and shit, because if I, because if I'm like, it's, it's just being yourself. That's why, like the night, the night that it wasn't good for me. I, I mean, I didn't voice it to the crowd, but it, but I wasn't energetic. You know, I was like, all right, make some noise. You know, like I, I don't ever do that. I usually say some stupid shit every mm-hmm. time for I specific and personify it. You did good, bro. I personify everything. No, I'm talking about like the week before that. Like, I know what you mean. I know of, what you mean. You I did mean, good. I, uh, like I, I, I mean, I, I held it together for sure, but it wasn't like. Uh, 
Yeah, it wasn't that, and it felt wrong. That's a personal, but, but, but that's, that's me though. Again, you're exactly, right. Exactly, yeah, bro. That's, that's what, a personal. That's, that's the point. That's because the point. people's perspective is going to be. That's mm-hmm. why I say that. That's why. That's another reason why I say that. Yeah, it has nothing to do with their expectations. Exactly. That's why I say that. So, so that's 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 what I was saying earlier. Actually, like if you do bad, and they're like, "Yo, you did good," and you're like, "No." That's why. But I then say when they're that. like, "You do good," and you're like, "No, I, I did, did bad. bad." Yeah. That's that's the balance. That's, but it's not. A, it's not even a balance though. Like, what you have to. What you have to understand is that you got to stay even you got to be yourself mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying because if you try and meet them at their expectations their expectations is always going to be something that's outside of whatever the fuck you think mm-hmm. it is so all you got to do is just be yourself and meet them as yourself yeah and so when they're when they're introduced to you like me personally right if i was the type of person to be like oh man yeah you can do whatever blah 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 the motherfuckers know you ain't taking my car to go to no vape shop, especially mm. when we've been drinking. You know what I'm saying? It's just mm. not happening. They don't even ask. So when I was trolling him outside, like, hey, you want to drive? And he was like, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So because, they are, because I meet them with who I am. Mm. I don't try and be what they want. Mm. I be who I am, and then they adjust to that. And there's pros and cons to that, though. Mm-hmm. Because it's it, it's a lot of things when it comes to business. Yeah, everybody's gonna butt heads because of their views in life and exactly, things bro. they've been through. But what I what I've experienced though mm-hmm. in my life by being just myself, I've repelled the people that are no good for me, mm-hmm. and always attracted the people that are good for me, and then been in a been ingratiated in in even like yourself, man. I fucking look at you highly, bro. I am so impressed. I'm just super proud mm-hmm. of you. I just my wish God. you the most success, my God. Like, mm-hmm. I swear to God, bro. Thank you so much. If there's dog. anything I can do to help you in your success, I am a tool for you, bro. It's this, dog. It's it's this. It's, bro, it's, and this ca- is it's camaraderie. It's conversation. It's, it's this is brainstorming me, and figuring bro. out ideas. And it's about cultivating, like, and, and, and personally, to me, talent. I understand that, especially when you're dealing in this industry and dealing with different artists and mm-hmm. fake motherfuckers and real motherfuckers and mm-hmm. all the... You know what I'm saying? It's all jumbled up together, you have to put up a certain wall. Mm -hmm. I hope that just in our existence, and I'm not going to force it, trust me, Mm -hmm. but just in our existence, we continue to cultivate this relationship where we become super good friends, man. No, we are, and we will. Like That's what I'm saying. Like It has nothing to do with... um, Even related to age and the industry and shit like that, like visions of whatever things can happen when they happen none of that is what i've ever viewed it at like as far as being put in a box Mm -hmm. put in a box genre wise age wise person wise style wise um category whether it's podcast shows live performances like like what's on the tv like that's that that's the one actually it's hilarious that's what we were looking at yeah that's Mm -hmm. that's that it's dope but um but any category of what, it, as far as whatever it goes, it's like at that point, it's like yeah, whatever goes fucking viral. Obviously, that's what we're gonna rock with. So here's the it's thing: not, it's not even about that though. It, it it does stem. It does boil down to like laziness and and how much work ethic. I don't you think have it's laziness, as, bro. No, no, no. Like for me, it's I don't still, think it's it boils down to no, no, not for not for this. I don't other, think it's laziness other aspects in of other aspects of life in general when it comes to. Everything else being set up and attentively put on time and done, there is a routine that comes to like, for example, when the po- when the um when the pandy started, mm-hmm. I was dropping once a week, you know, because mm-hmm. it was like full on, nothing else to do on what, once though? a week. YouTube, everything. Okay, YouTube, it's okay. all on YouTube. Yeah, everything's there. Like, but then what happens is like, some get success, some don't. Mm-hmm. So. So now what's encouraging you posting? Are you looking for views or are you just doing a consistency? There's a these Blindly. things start to come mm-hmm. when you get to your 50th live performance. Here's the thing. And you get to your 41st podcast. It it starts to change your incentive a little bit about what you want to do and when you create it and then I took that break and now this is actually where I'm at back in 2024. Mm-hmm. We're like no, I'm going right back to where I was. I'm just dropping every week. I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's about, and for me, bugs. I'm dropping once a week, whether it's a podcast, a live performance, a recap. Something, something mm-hmm. once a week is mm-hmm. being pre- mm-hmm. dropped. I didn't do it really I that much. It, man. God 2023, damn. I didn't do it that much, but 
I still did it sporadically. Mm-hmm. 22, 21, 20, I did. Now you're going to you be know? more organized and structured with yeah. it. And, cons- and people can look down. Here's and what we're doing, right? We be anything going, can go viral straight up. Any goofy I, shit. I'm going to tell you. So it's two things I want to speak on, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the first thing is I really applaud your consistency and you really bring yourself to that place of being more consistent on things that you do mm-hmm. because I'm also mm-hmm. arriving to that place as well. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like... I've been doing a lot of podcasting. It takes Not, a while to get there. It does, man, but it, it's it's a lot of work within yourself. So I've been jumping on a lot of panels. Yeah, I'm in this. I'm in the YouTube streets where they talk about just different topics and shit like that, and these mm. different panels. And I'll just jump on there and just make myself known. Yeah, and also it it helps me to go on Instagram Live a lot more to just kind of build that mm-hmm. up. But I've the, never gone live much. How's that? How's that treat you? So I'm just starting. Um, it's more of a quality thing for me. If I could set this up, like I don't on think the it's. Live, a, I think it's more a quantity thing with live because yeah. what you're trying to do is you're trying to build an audience to show where you're at and just to show who you are. You get what I'm saying? So that's mm-hmm. like, and I know that we couldn't do it for this podcast, but I would have went live on this podcast just to kind of show yeah. the, the audience of like this is what I'm doing in real life right now mm-hmm. in real time. We can do it at the end. You know it's what whatever, bro. Whatever, whatever, whatever works mm-hmm. for you, bro. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. this is your house. I respect it. Yeah, I just want them to watch the podcast. Yeah, they. A part of it is a part of it is to get them to watch me, and so I'm still trying mm-hmm. to build that audience for them to get. I mean, fuck it, I'll go live me. it. I'll, we'll do it at the end of this podcast. We'll let's both go, go live at the I same a, time. Um, I bought a stand that's in my bag right there, so I can set it up, and we can just go and we can, I can just help, oh, hold up bet, the live bet, like that. Bet, bet, bet. But the other part is is the the part two I wanted to say is is that a lot of it takes money, bro. Mm. And which but, is I've never I've never invested a cent. That's the thing. In anything. So for people who don't have mm. money. The mileage that you're going to have to walk is insanity. Mm-hmm. So if we do it based off of a scale, a person who has money is going to have to do like just like maybe like this mm-hmm. far away when it comes to it. A person mm-hmm. without it is going to have to go all the way through to this damn wall. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's based off a of scale. So for us, I understand, and that's why I speak on business and different things like that. I understand how the music business works. And yeah. in order to be able to get certain placements... I give you an example. We got on complex. It is he, you know, too. Like you could just find, you could just bump into a motherfucker one day. It and he, he'd be bro, like, "Yo, I'm the executive." The thing about that is that it's so rare. Oh shit! Hold on, quick. Did they get it? Did you get it? You could come in, dude. Why are you being weird? We'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom anyway. Yeah. Like, I got to. Me too. We'll do it like a. Yeah. You want to pause it right here? You want to pause it on your uh, logic? Why is this in here? What you doing? Want to pause, pause logic? No, 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 don't ask that. Hey, Bugsy. 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 <laughs> What'd you guys get? No, you're good. No, nah, that's okay. Leave it. Right, okay. Yo, let me tell you, bro. They gave me. You get to the fucking. Look, look, yeah, shut up. Hold on, bro. While, while we go to the bathroom, be careful where you guys step. You go over there. Over. I want you to tell the story on the podcast. Man, this motherfucker. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Fuck all that. Don't hit the mic, I just said, God damn it. It was my jacket, it was my jacket. I apologize, bro. I apologize. Yeah, hey, look. Man, let me fucking tell y'all what the fuck it. happened at this motherfucking smoke shop. <laughs> Nigga, we going there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So, so look. Back home. Back home, nigga. I could get a a, a, a 7,500 puff vape. $20. 25 max. 20, 20, yeah, 25, 25 max. 25 max, but I know the owner at the smoke max. shop, so he be giving that shit for like $20, yeah, right? Yo. We got, we got, bro, we, we get it. here. This nigga talking about some forty dollars. Forty dollars for forty dollars. Nigga, I'm not giving you, you, you for. You I'm not giving you forty dollars for a fucking five thousand puff vape, nigga. Wildin', yo. You are out your rabbit ass 40. mind. You done lost your fucking marbles. Yo, I said forty. Yo, I said forty. Give me a black, bro. Yo, give me a black, bro. Let, just let me get the black, bro. bro. I only got. I only got one black. I should have got two. I started freaking that bitch in the store, <laughs> and some of the tobacco fell out of that bitch. I might walk right. back there and get another black, but nah, I ain't gonna go back and get another black. Nah, Fuck, that nigga nigga. Though, bro. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. Fuck that boy. He nah. was gonna give us the vape. Us vape that nigga was trying to charge over, forty dollars. Hell me, no, nigga. I don't want it that bad, bro. I don't want it that bad. You trying to overtax? I don't want it that bad. Overtaxing, I know, you, I know bro. you. You you overtaxing, bro. You overtaxing, bro. And where I come from, I should slap the shit out you. I ain't gonna you lie to you. Double for I regular, should slap the dog shit out you right team, now. You how you going? How you, you going? Wildin'. Double taxing, nigga. Though <laughs> a new customer. 
Nah, but he double taxed. Bro, nah, bro, that's not tax. tax. You guys have no tax. That's inflation. Listen, though, listen, though, even that's even inflation. Even that's not tax. Even if we didn't have tax, bro, a twenty dollar vape, bro, max coming out to twenty five, bro, max coming out to like twenty seven, bro. That nigga charged forty, bitch. I, bro, bitch. <laughs> 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 nah, I got a, I got, I got some chips. Niggas is Got wild, this Snapple yo. right here. Got a black. You know, life is good, but right, that nigga to is tweaking. To he told us to come over here, nigga. We talking nah, we're in the way, bro. Story. All right, y'all told y'all story. Niggas y'all. is wilding, yo. Yeah, all right, we gotta get this. We gotta get this shit back to Bugs in August. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Bugs. Shout out August Moore. You know, yeah. Moore House yeah. Music yeah. LLC yo, in this yo, motherfucker. You understand? Through the LLC in that bitch. A signal. Oh, with my hands? Watch the, watch the, I actually did the pinky. Yeah, watch with your jacket. You're good. I be doing the pinky, uh. I be doing the pinky. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't want to get buzzed, you know what I mean? That nigga be getting us lit, man, with the interviews and shit like that, man. Podcasts, fucking montages, all, all kinds of shit, bro. So I don't want to get buzzed, man. Hey, yo. No. Bugs is really like that, bro. That's a fact. Bugs is really like that. If you don't know, you should know. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the Jersey area, if you're in the Philly area, Delaware, you could travel to Philly. That ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But Bugs be really putting on all the artists. You know what I'm saying? So it's always love every time we pop out. You know what I'm saying? Every time Morehouse pop out. Every time, for real, every time any artist pop out. Anytime anybody pop out. It's all love, nigga. It's all fucking love because this nigga be showing love. I fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? It's my guy. Bugs, bitch. <laughs> Bugs, bitch. You know what's hilarious? Our, ba- our, our um, interlude in our podcast, we were talking about the vape situation because mm-hmm. we were talking about the psychology of like, because I've been on that side from like needing weed, but my friend didn't smoke weed. And he was I think weed is different. It's different than vapes. Psychological. The point was the psychological conversation the psychological. we had. So we both had to take a piss when y'all got back. So our interlude is going to be y'all bitching about how they got to overcharge. <laughs> they got to overcharge you, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yo. You that's some Jersey dollars. shit. Right time, double charge. $40. Dollars. Dollars. That's this side of Jersey shit. That's $40. I've been in Jersey for days. And it's the same price. What ethnicity was it? He was an, he was an he Indian. Was Indian. But my dude Indian. is Indian. You should have been like, dog, I just got Y'all fucking ran over bro. rice, dude. Can I like... <laughs> <laughs> you should have been like, yo. Bugs, <laughs> man. I just got, got, got lamb over bro, rice. Bro, I just got the lamb over rice with the chicken. You would have been like, yo, I'm cool. All right, got you. I love the lamb over rice, bro. Straight up, if you said like, oh, like... I saw some in the white sauce, all that shit. Dude, he would have... Sure, but like I got you. I yeah. So we're perfect. We did like 32 minutes. We just need like 28 more minutes. We good. It's whatever, bro. Yeah. I'm enjoying the conversation. Yeah, we just, we're just going where we go. It's perfect. Um, but yeah, and there's there's no time limit. Like we can go as, if we keep talking. We're talking. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. You need any more? You good? I'm cool. Oh. Hey, hey, Kenny, can you take some pictures? Can y'all take some pictures of this? So I can post on the gram and shit. I'll get a little more. See, I'm letting it rock anyway, because, like, if I stop it, it'll be more edited. Oh, that's cool. I need my charge out the car. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I put it in there. Yeah, you probably got it in here, Tyler. Just to avoid the ring camera. Like, my family who doesn't even live here is connected to that. And can you catch me and Bugs at the same time, too? Yeah, like Christmas, dude. November, like Thanksgiving, they're like, yo, I saw this, I saw that, I saw this. Tim probably needs to change it up a little bit or fix something. Here's the YouTube link. This is what I did. This is what I did. They're like, well, what about this girl? I'm like, chill. What about this girl? Chill. I be having girls come in the back door. I don't have you guys come in the back door. I have girls come in the back door. I look at it like this. The respect that I earn from y'all is a badge of honor to me. 
It's a privilege. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all niggas don't respect nobody. <laughs> I'll be chilling, bro. Y'all niggas don't respect nobody, bro. Y'all give a fuck about nobody. And I love it. You got to be that type of nigga to get that type of respect. You hear me? Y'all niggas don't respect nobody, bro. That's why y'all my niggas, bro. I love y'all niggas. Real talk. I know y'all niggas gonna have the best for me, cause y'all know that I'm gonna have the best for y'all. We're gonna just keep growing together. Y'all my niggas, bro. One of them, yeah. One max. So one max. <laughs> but cause 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 otherwise it's on the ring camera. That's that's what I was saying. Otherwise it's on the fucking ring camera. Yeah, so if I have a John, like I'll have y'all come through the front door, but I'll have a John go through the back, back door <laughs> to the back door. And the bus that's fucked up. And it's not even like that, because you know it's twenty twenty four. We're not even in a relationship. We're yeah. not even in a relationship, it's the, so bro. it's not like it's, it's not it's like. Oh, like, uh, did you get me doing the bunny ear, Johns? Like, I'm, I can't wait to put a quote there. It's not even a fucking relationship. I'm not cheating do on you. Do it again. I'm not even in a relationship. <laughs> 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 this stupid fucking motherfucker. Show. Fuck it, um. I'm a savage, bro. You want to go live? Uh, I can. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. This is the second half of the John. See, I'm not. I'm a lover boy, dude. Like, I love these bitches. Yeah, it's a thing. I love them. That's the problem right there. I hate them, but I love them, too. (laughs) He said a word. See, what are you (laughs) doing? Put it back, dude. Hold on, bro. I got to see who this is. (laughs) Fucking, um. Oh, that's that bitch. Yeah, I be be loving. I be loving girls. That's the problem, bro. That's your problem, bro. You be loving them hoes. That's one thing I do not do. Are you talking in the mic? Yeah. Give me a check, check real quick. Mic check, 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 mic check. All right, we're good, we're good. I was just making sure. Right, You're on the bottom. Up. I was All just right. making sure. She's story. Oh, I'm tripping. That's a gnarly, like. Yo, turn that hey, shit the no, way Hey, listen, down. listen, yo. Uh, no, no, uh, don't no music. That chair, my bad, it's gonna break. No volumes, no nothing, Sorry, bro. Dude. No nothing, no volumes, no nothing, bro. Y'all can talk, just don't be like. If you want to add to the combo, you can. By the way, if y'all can, y'all bro, can just yell from out there like. Yeah. <laughs> Is that way for me, for me to catch both of us? Yeah, put it on the corner. No, I, I got you. It's gonna tilt down a little bit. Oh, no, just turn it toward, turn it more towards you. I'm here. It's all good. I'll lean in the midst if I need to. No, let me, uh... Oh, don't let it fall off. It'll be all right. No way. Look. Pull that up. <laughs> Pull it up. Just point it on you. Just point it on you. Right. Excuse me. All right, so we're about 10 minutes. Uh, I gotta, what's the name of your podcast? 10 minutes. Bro? I got it. Full Circle Podcast. FCP. Full circle podcast. Here's the thing about uh, lives, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not getting hella numbers. I don't care. Um, No, I'm just saying that for a reason. Can I tag you? I um, yeah, I never go. No, B U G G S A five six. Well, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do eight five six. F C P. But bugs, yeah. Bugs 856, yeah. 8. Should, should eight. I add it then? Yeah, 856. Can you add it? I'm just going to add it just so that they can... Check, check. They can fuck with it. Oh, shit.
Yeah, see, this is why this is, even though it's only like a minute or two, it's chunking away from our energy and vibe, you know what I mean? I think we'll be all right. Eight, the five, lab. six? Yeah. I think it'll be all right, bro. But that's like, the, the other point is, never mind. No, it's speak your shit, man. No, you're good. Cheers. Cheers, my brother. For real. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, all right, we back. Yep. That was longer than um an interlude that I normally do, so I want to start it like this. Yo, what's good with it? So, <laughs> I have a question. Go ahead, yeah. If you could date any cartoon character, who would it be? <laughs> this motherfucker you here. You heard bro. it coming. <laughs> this motherfucker here. If I could date any cartoon character, who would it be? Yeah, like. There's a couple go to's that people say every time. What are the go to's so I can nail mine down? Like the Bunny John from Space Jam. Okay. That's a go to. Okay. Do you have any other ones? Um, Jasmine from Aladdin. Okay. Okay. Jasmine. Mm-hmm. Okay. I personally take the John from El Dorado. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking the about. The hip, the hip. Yeah. yeah I, I like her. About. Yeah. And the Atlantis John. Okay. Yeah. You like to go? Okay. You like to go to the sea? Those two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like to go All to right. the sea. Yeah, hell yeah. Those are my Johns. Yeah, like okay. I like those too. Um, shit, man. Um, damn, that's a great question. Fuck. It is. See, like, dude, this is this is one that gets people. You can go stumped. everywhere. Yeah, you can go anywhere with it. Mm. I watch a lot of cartoons too. Um, my go. to Such a pleasant smile you have right now. <laughs> Cause you telling me about my, you know what I mean? Yeah, Any John like, I can oh, get. Like, j- Who do I want? Literally Disney dreams. It is a Disney dream. Who do I want? Mm. I could go with Jasmine. Jasmine's a good one. I could go with Jasmine, but I don't want to be unoriginal. That's not un. That is literally the most original. I, but no, a lot of people pick that one. So I want no, to, no, I don't think anybody. You know who I'm gonna go yet. with? I'm gonna go with. Um, but what's the Disney princess from uh, Princess and the Frog? Yeah, Tatiana. Is Tatiana. That, yeah. Is that her name? I don't know. I think it sounds. It sounds right. It sounds like it, it does right? sound right. If that's her name, I'm pissed. By the way, <laughs> like, it right. if that's her name, I'm fucking pissed. I'm Whoa. going with Tatiana. You heard <laughs> me, Princess that's Tatiana. Your, Princess Tatiana. You heard is it? Ty- it's something. Ty- hey, he said, "Tell Buggy what's good." Remember Tyena, dude. Yeah. What yeah. up, yo? Remember Tyena, dude. Tyena could get it. Tyena. Tyena. It was on Nickelodeon. Oh, Tyene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, that shit. That was a weird little three-year pocket. Oh, what, yeah, yeah. What happened she, to Tyena? Yo, yeah, she sure could get it, bro. Where did she, she go? Damn. With the New York subway in the intro? like yeah, That was some urban yeah. shit. Oh, shit, yeah. On Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah that's I forgot hilarious. about her. Wow. Damn, bro. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Yeah, I'm going to have to Google her and see how she living right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Look up T and Tamara. They're fucking shit up right now. They are, though. They're doing, they're, they're doing yeah. some... Ra- yeah. They're raging right now. Yeah. So is Mary-Kate and the Ashley. other... Uh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're raging, too. Yeah. Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's, you know what, though? Up. They're it, all fucking shit up. It happens like that when you have that success and that fame so early. Mm. Fame does something to you, bro. Or them pockets of fame, like, with those groups of people. Bro, fame in, in general, when you are in, introduced to it. When you got someone in your bushes and the cops can't do anything but about I'm gonna it. I'm going to say this, though. You have to think about it, right? That's bugged. Let's put it in now. Uh, let's put it in perspective. That's perspective, so right? Let's That's say so let's bugged. say like if we experience fame mm-hmm. on that level and nobody can't tell us shit and everybody's telling us everything we want to hear. What does that does to, what, do, what does that do to us? Oh cycle? no, dude. They 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 know damn well these motherfuckers are lying. They nah, know. Nah, bro. Sometimes motherfuckers is good at lying, bro. Motherfuckers nah, like, no, like you what, I, what I mean is like from their perspective like I've not, obviously I'm not saying I'm comparing that, but I like 
it's clear when someone's like, kind of like I said earlier, giving you a genuine compliment. That's true. Because they relay it to things that are stabbed into the ground. Yeah, whatever. Versus really. just like, whoa, I saw how people reacted to okay, you. So, and but, I like you because of that. So let me say this, you know? though. What if you get a million genuine compliments all the time? Mm-hmm. That would do something to you. Yeah, it wouldn't overdo it though. I would enjoy every fucking. I would enjoy every. I think it would overdo shower, it. shower, shower me, dude. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't get old to me. It depends though, because like if you're in a relationship and you tell the person you love them over and over and over and over again, like I disagree with that too. Saying I love you is different than showing. I it. disagree with that too. Like if it's a long distance relationship and you just say I love I, you twenty times a day, I disagree. That's with That's different that. than I love you. I'm pulling up on you. I disagree, bro. See, love is shown in different ways. I'm gonna tell you why I disagree with that. I've been in a relationship. Love to me is energy. It's an energy. Exchange. I'm gonna explain to you. I I've been in a relationship for twelve years. Mm-hmm. Right? They can attest to that. Mm-hmm. Right? So for me personally, hey, he's been in a he's been in a relationship for twelve years, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. What they say? Not hell great. yeah, they said. Right, yeah. Come, come in, come in here. <laughs> nah, come they, in here. They got it. They got all it. Right, all right, right, for sure. <laughs> nah, for real. You know I was what it joking, is. but that's hilarious. Nah, it's true. <laughs> they can attest to it. Hey. I, I keep everything. I only speak facts, and I love when he. I love when he do this, bro. Anybody who wasn't telling the truth would hate this. I love it, bro, because I really want him to get to know me as a person. Because mm-hmm. there's there's layers to me. Mm-hmm. That you're gonna experience as our relationship continues to evolve, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to rush the process at yeah. all. I just nah, want to that's know just what it important. is. Relationship is the most important. To me, Absolutely, honestly. bro. But here's why mm-hmm. I disagree with what it is that you said. For me personally, I've been in a relationship for 12 years, mm-hmm. successful relationship for 12 years. Mm-hmm. When you overdo something, then they get used to it. So, like for me personally, right? I'm a very Smart person. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If you say it too much, does it? It takes the worth away. It so does it take the worth away. away. So yeah. it, you look at it like it, like basic economics, right? If you have, if you live on an island full of bananas, mm-hmm. and someone pull up with an apple, the value of that apple is going to be exceedingly high mm-hmm. than the fucking bananas that's on the island because they're mm-hmm. in abundance. So there's a level of like. That's why you can't smack her every time. Sometimes you got to spit on her. Nah, I smack the shit out of her every <laughs> Sometimes month. Sometimes you time. spit. Nah, <laughs> Sometimes you spit. Sometimes you smack. I'm joking. Nah, no, it's no, just that's, not. That's literally, no, no, I understand what you're I, I know what and, you're but saying. But a, a yeah. lot of times, though, like us as men. Mm-hmm. That's normal, like basic psych. If I didn't make music and do that, I would have dove in way deep into... Uh, Either way, I'd be locked in my room like a scientist. Yeah, that's but psychology, on. like I would dive into the human brain of why, why this sound sounds sad to our human description of what mm-hmm. sad means. Mm-hmm. Why does this make us get upbeat? And mm-hmm. it's like all vibrations. It changes the shapes of literally our biological molecules. It changes everything. Can I ask so you a question? Feelings and art and um, how you feel when you see a shape. Versus how, how I, I feel when I see a shape, mm-hmm. it's completely different. Whereas, like something can be scary to you mm-hmm. is completely pleasant to me. Mm-hmm. A smell is sc- obviously repugnant smells versus pleasant smells. Yeah, I mean, that's a spectrum of natural that. Yeah. reaction. Yeah, but, but you could talk about the nuance of yeah. of, a, of a pheromones. Exactly, yes. things like that. Someone that, could smell X. Body, you know, X spray before they get mm. the shit beat out of them. Oh, that's you know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah, when they smell fun. that X spray, that spray, it associates that. that with are them. you talking about X spray? Like how locker rooms used to smell? <laughs> or did you say, are you saying X Y? I'm <laughs> just saying that I just used it as a variable. Because yo, if I smell X spray, I'm swinging. I'm walking like <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just if using I smell X spray around me. I'm walking like that. But I wanted to talk about. The, you said that you were gonna be. You will be locked into your room. What do you mean by that? Um, if I was a. Uh, a brain surgeon type. No, not, no, I'm not talking surgeon, about like a psychological. That's not what I'm asking you. That's not what I'm asking you. I want to qualify. As an it. artist, I'm still you specifically. I'm yeah. not talking about you as an artist. No, I'm that's no. About... I'm talking me. Okay. Yeah, no, me. It's it's uh. You can put it in general statements if you want, mm-hmm. but um, a true artist tends to be alone a lot because Absolutely, they're, int- they're introspective. They're. It's not that they want to be alone. I would like to. 
like spend my life for hopeless romantic or be rich and pay my family and have Christmases like this for my nieces and nephews. No, it's not even, it's not even all those things that I want. It does tie into like the whole, okay, it's going to switch. You know what I mean? It's Can always going to switch. Question? Mm-hmm. And I, and I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Same here. Mm-hmm. How did you get to a place? And this, the reason why I asked that is because mm-hmm. I'm that artist that's alone all the time. So mm-hmm. for me, right, some people, they feed off of other people's energy. Mm-hmm. Me, Man when hers. I'm around other people, I expel energy. So mm-hmm. I have to have that moment to like, um, kind of recharge so it's, by myself. It's, it's always different. Um, all right, so this is the thing. I, I love me some sleep. And I love me some Same. recharge, but the problem is I get really, when I mentioned laziness earlier, it's really comfy to yes. just lay in a ball yes. and stay there for a day. And before you know it, two days go by and, and you're like, week. wait, I got to like get up. Like, and do I have it. to? No. Anything that anything yeah. that would happen would be because of me. Fuck that. I'm don't chill. happen is because I'm of a, me as well. Yeah, and I'm a chill right now and see how much the worth is. Yes, you, bro, you play I'm these the same way. you play these tricks in your mind yes. like oh, you're and talking so, about it. And society that like talk that shit, your bro. Your distance is going to matter whatever, you know. Yes. It's, it's literally the It's thing. up to you. It, Go, yes. And it literally turns into the it's it's at the end of the day there is ego cuz it turns into It is ego. Yeah. What are they going to what <laughs> Who's going to pull it to my funeral? It turns into that. It mm-hmm. turns into from, I can do this. I'm bringing all this together. I'm doing the, this I by think myself. One thing, though, and it turns into like the egotistical thing. Who's going to show up to my funeral? Have you seen you have a show? But then it's um, th- follow me with this train of thought gotcha, though. Gotcha. Like, who's going to show up to my funeral versus who's pulling up to my parties? Who's commenting on my shit saying they're going to come but don't come, but they'll be there. The support. This ego that comes with the artistic mind yes. doesn't equate what people feel for you because just because you're an artist and you found your version of an outlet doesn't mean that the friend that you were friends His- with before you were a musician understands that. They're still doing the one, two, three, four things. And and that's like that's an ego thing even right there from an artist. No, I get I, you. It's not like I'm doing five, six, seven, eight. No, motherfucker, I'm doing A, B, C, one, two, three. I'm fucking rhyming shit. Here's I'm, the thing. But I'm rhyming my pain, and I'm introspectively looking at it. I agree. And I'm giving it to all of the public to digest and and inform themselves based off of it. But the, the difference is with friends and everyone else that you're around, yes. you wind up putting yourself in the room. Mm-hmm. Your family doesn't understand. Yes. Your friends, totally your yes. friends who were friends before you were a rapper, yes. don't get it. Yes. Because they, they like rock. They like jazz. They like this. Yeah. Oh, well, guess what? I'm about to make rock. I'm about to make jazz. Let me. I'm about, hold on. I'm about to make poetry. Yes. Oh, now do you not like me, Grandpa? Listen to this song, Grandpa. Let me hold let on, me, hold on, cousin, cousin, cousin Xavier. I it, bro. And that, and you don't oh, like me? I fucking get oh, it. I, I made what you like. Oh, you don't I like see. it? Oh, now you like me, right? Now you're gonna sit and have a conversation like this. It takes that artistic, um, oh, what's the word? Yearning. Everybody who makes art cares about what people think, as much as they want to say they don't. Which is crazy. It's to a paradox agree. because you wouldn't make art if you really Didn't care. Because yeah. everyone ha- everyone hates it. Mm-hmm. That makes you. That means you're not going to make 22. art. But if you're yeah, but if you make it, then mm-hmm. you're going to realize who fucks with you know. So I used my art as a emotional connection to everyone that I was around. Absolutely, because I want because I know everybody likes me. Like yes. it doesn't matter if you okay. You don't like peanut butter. I don't like jelly. You don't like chocolate. <laughs> he doesn't like Skittles. You. We all drink water. Like what? Like whatever yes. co- connection you want to use. That's I artistically use that. Mm-hmm. But I had to lock myself in my room, over and over and over, making this song, this song, writing about this emotion, crying about this person, doing these things to find that. If I didn't make music, and I decided to be a psychologist, yes, and I wanted to be a therapist, mm-hmm. I would still be locked in my own room 
figuring things out on my own accord and mm-hmm. then doing it accordingly. So mm-hmm. that's what I mean. If I was what my parents wanted, mm-hmm. like being a doctor, mm-hmm. no matter what, it ends up with me locked in a room, mm-hmm. figuring it out. Yes. So the one thing that I did figure out is how to hug everyone mm-hmm. and party and dance. And the one night where everyone is not working, I'm working. Mm-hmm. That's what my parents don't understand. Mm-hmm. That yes. older generations like mm-hmm. the one night where like I'm a host, I'm talking shit, I'm goofy. Mm-hmm. So that's what I mean in regards to the one that you were at last mm-hmm. week and before mm-hmm. that. Probably. I was mm-hmm. miserable. Mm-hmm. I had my you wasn't life, that person. And I wasn't I wasn't I, I wasn't being me. I, I kinda wish I was So there. you could compare. So well, you could not, see no, it. not to compare so that I can mm-hmm. reach you so that I can because so, yo, get out of it. Snap out of that. Yeah, not not had, even oh, just that though. Anything, honestly. But <laughs> like, the reason why, not even just that, because I'm mm, with you. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like mm. you're not alone, bro. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's like a lot of people think that they're alone, that they're not. So with the issues, all, yeah. So it's we're like, all going through separate mm, things separately. And, and I, sometimes and, and it's my job to not put my that on. It's not even just know? that though. It's not like, that. That is as the a, job. As far as a host, I get as you. That is the job as a host. Yes, that is a job. But sometimes you meet motherfuckers like myself where it's like, mm. motherfucker, mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I get where you're coming from. And that's why when you said what you said at the end of that one. What did I say? You said, yo, I see what you're doing. And I was like, yo. And in my head, typical thing, dumbing myself down, I was like, you should have seen last week. But no, but that's, I wasn't why, there but last no, week. But that's why I took what you said with heavy weight because mm-hmm. I was like, I consciously made a decision to be myself this time and not be out of pocket. Out That's of body, what I want to promote. Out of body versus like, I want you to be yourself. Want, not where I want to be. Because you are cool enough, like, bro. That's, that's, that's you the are, problem. You are it enough. To mm. me, I, I'm looking at you on the outside uh, as an mm. outside perspective as someone that understands who the fuck but you But that's are. me That's me judging myself. I understand so, like, that. That's so, what I'm trying to give you an outside perspective. So, so with the locked in my room statement ties into like the family judgment. The family judgment, they they just see bro, he's in a room. We all They don't understand that, I made I made Can I can fi- I say this? I, I made five albums in three weeks. That's what I'm saying. And I'm saying, editing bro. podcasts on podcasts. I'm doing the It doesn't you know, matter. It's, it's, can it I say matter. this to you? Can I say this to you? If I cured cancer, it wouldn't matter. I would actually I would be killed if I cured can cancer. Can I say this to you though? <laughs> like, I would can I say be this to you? Murdered. Yeah. Can I, I know why you say that too? Because they want to keep they continue to provide yeah. prescribe the medication because there's more yeah. money in that. So about but people here's being a, signed, all that. Here's the thing though. That. Here's the thing though. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to speak to you as a person that I live the reality that you're living in, right? Mm-hmm. I understand that. Like I got family that look at me and think one thing, mm-hmm. and it's a whole other thing. I had a I went to Christmas. It's so right? weird, man. To me, it's not though because people are going to people. Mm-hmm. So I look at it and I expect them to be themselves. You know what I'm saying? So when you live in that reality of what reality really is, you expect mm. people to people, whether mm. they're your family, friends, associates, people you don't fucking know, you expect people to be people. You know mm. what I'm saying? The masses is going to people. The masses operate under one guy, so they have to be guided mm. towards something. And mm. anything that's outside of that, guys, they don't see it, pay attention to it. But when you align with it, then they jump on board with it. That's how the masses operate. And that's just reality of what it is. Mm-hmm. Me personally, right? I give you this, right? My family, right? I've been myself for forever. I've been me forever. I've been me since I, since I bro, know. Bro, you don't understand, though. <laughs> as long as I'm trying I to, know. No, I'm trying to tell you that's a big statement, bro. No, I know. I feel you. No, no. It's a huge statement that should not mm-hmm. be undermined right now in this moment. Mm-hmm. I'm expressing it to you for real. Mm-hmm. To be yourself forever is a long time to be yourself because it takes forever for people to understand themselves. And me, I've been me forever, bro. Mm-hmm. I understand people don't fuck with the shit I'm doing right now. I'll always be me, yeah. But I'm going to be me for forever for real. Mm-hmm. And so me being me forever has had a lot of benefits in my life. There's always mm-hmm. downsides to everything, bro. It's not, it's, it ain't been up the whole time. Because you being yourself, people don't know how to deal with that because they're trying to find the representative that they yeah. expect you to present to them that doesn't exist because you are always yourself. And that's a rare thing. Mm-hmm. So... I'm expressing that to you because I want you to be yourself forever because who you are personally is mm-hmm. a fucking great and phenomenal person, bro. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. And people who deserve mm-hmm. to meet you outside of, you know, the ones that are there for a reason. We all are there for a reason. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. But it's just purpose there for a reason just to fulfill their reason and not add any value to you. Yeah. Those people are going to be projected to you. 
I'm gonna give you an example, right? Tied into f- what we were talking about earlier. Everybody is that's what everything is. Exactly, yeah. bro. I'm gonna give you an example though. Mm-hmm. My family, right? My family look at me. I had a mm-hmm. cousin. My wife is with me always, when I, especially when I go to family events, right? And so I'm telling, I'm talking to them, and what women like to do is, and this is because I understand women, I, I, bro, I understand women like a mm-hmm. fucking letter, bro. Mm-hmm. What women like to do is they look at the woman that you're with, and they determine whether or not yeah, you're, you're that worth, nigga yeah. based off of the woman that you're with, right? Mm-hmm. And so my cousin looked at me, and she said, your, your wife believes in, believes in you. And it's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. She ain't the only one that believe in me. Everybody around me believe in me, but mm-hmm. you don't know that because you family and you in your own life and living mm-hmm. your own existence and a star player in your own world, yeah. but you don't know what the fuck I got going on here. And I'm not faulting you for that. Mm-hmm. You just don't understand who the fuck is in front of you. I'm that nigga. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So and, weird how but, that happens with family too. But it's okay though. I don't look at family and, and think less of her because of that. Mm-hmm. Because family is the ones that's going to... They look at you as the person that you once were. Mm-hmm. They're not ever going to be able to see you same until my, you... Same with high school friends, like people from high school. Say but that's that, why I don't so. look at it negatively. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I have to accept the fact that you see me as the person that I once was and not the person that I am and yeah, who well, I'm going to be. That's the things, that's the tips that I give people that are new artists and they get mad when their friends don't support their music. It don't matter. They were friends before you started rapping. So and, imagine being friends with Drake. Before you started rapping, and the, the thing and about, now Drake's like, why don't you he, share my song? That, but the, dog, but it, you you guys were eating chicken tenders together. He doesn't have to share your song. The, exactly, you bro, guys already why, did it. That's why I don't take it personal, mm-hmm. even though you can't. You, nah, but you could though. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you why. There's a lot of justification for you to take it personal because this is your but fucking. You can't. You know? I'm gonna tell you why. Because what if they don't like it? No, it's not even just that. What if they genuinely don't like it? Nah, that's not true though. Mm-hmm. Because if your shit popping. And everybody playing your shit, I mm-hmm. guarantee you they're going to be like, damn, I could find something that I like in this song. That's mm-hmm. what everybody does. But the people who don't know you can find what they like in the song faster than the people who do know you. Mm-hmm. So the thing about it is, is that it, that don't exist. The, the reason why you don't fuck with my shit is because you mm-hmm. think I'm the version of myself that I was before when you first met mm-hmm. me than I am now. You have not evolved with me. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. That's okay for you to be in that place. That's the thing. So when you live in that space where you understand reality and how people actually are, you don't have the expectation from them as you would someone who doesn't understand it. A person who looks at it and say, my friends don't support my music and they don't share my shit, blah, 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 blah. Nigga, they're not going to support you. They send you from when you was in diapers. So they're not gonna That's they're not I'm gonna saying. they're not gonna support that. And so it's under you have to get into a space in your mind as an artist. One that's developed as mm-hmm. an entrepreneur, that one that's developed to understand that they're not gonna support it. They're gonna, they're not gonna support it until it pops off. Mm-hmm. That's just a part of the growth process of you being the version of yourself that you're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. We have to go through a trial and tribulation to be the versions of ourselves that we're supposed to be. And so when you readily mm-hmm. accept that within yourself, then you ready for whatever comes next. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of shit that comes next after that. There's a lot of people who's not going to support you after that. That's just the reality of things. There's, yeah, people it's, are just going to hate. People, people just there's a lot hate. of close yeah. people who's not going to support you after I got close friends that don't support my shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Close friends, bro. But I guarantee you, when we pop yeah, off like, and we them you. niggas, yeah. they're going to be like, oh, I know them, blah, 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 blah. And but you want, see, but so, you want to so know this, something, though? So that's what I'm saying. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this, though. I'll be a psychology major but if let I me tell you this, though. Let me tell you this, though. To study that. On the other side of that, right, mm-hmm. I'm, it's all love. Because I never expected you to understand the value that I was mm-hmm. in the moment I was being valued. See, now that's where I disagree. No, motherfucker. Yeah, I do. I do, motherfucker. That that means you got you know, more work to you, do. No, with no, yourself. no, no. You let's see how you just disagreed with what I said, and mm-hmm. now I did. I didn't say you got more work to do. No, listen. What what you just what we both just disagreed with. I want with, you to disagree on, listen, with listen. me and tell me why. No, you listen. Mean. That's the difference. The, 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 they're actually the same thing with the person disagreeing with that. If the person's like, nah, I don't fuck with it, that's one thing. That's like them liking spice versus like something Sugar, sweet. Yeah. That's like that's that's besides the point. If you know that your friend doesn't like spice, but you're cooking sweet foods and he doesn't have an opinion on it, what the fuck? That's the same with genre, Bro, no. same with subjects, same no, with no, 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 no. I disagree. And the reason why is what? because what? 
I'm, a, I'm about to explain to you, you why. Do you want an opinion from somebody who doesn't like spicy food? I'm about, about to explain to you food? why. I'm going I'm to explain to you why. They'll say, oh, that's hot. I'm going to explain to you why. <laughs> it's spicy. It's not, it's not about how good your shit is, right? That's not you, what I was talking about. No, I'm say saying that. you could be, you, listen, you could be making the best sweet shit. That's what I'm saying. That's the, what I said. They, they won't know because they aren't in that subject. But the thing about it is that you can't expect them to know. That's... Or, Expect them to that's be able to understand. My, that's my point. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What's your point? Literally, was my point. My bad. My bad. <laughs> that, 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 I could be. I'm, I'm, I'm that, sorry. No, no, no. That was my point. That Good. they're completely different subgenres. So you can't blame your friend for being a fan of it before that. But if it is subjectively some Tom Brady shit, there is just a uh, 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 a, a a moment where you have to be like, okay, this is objectively good. But again, that doesn't matter because it's your friend and they know you before you started doing that shit. Right. None of that none of that matters. That was literally my point that yeah. I was saying. Okay. I was my bad. My bad. My it's, bad. It's, 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 no, I was I was just trying to get to that's that's what I was trying no, to get but to like, is the so, fact that so, you can't, so so yeah. now it comes to like everything we were talking about earlier about being an artist and being sensitive about our shit as artists. As we should, yeah. I'm going to make what I wanna make, right? I don't wake up every day wanting to rap. I don't wake up every day wanting to drum. I don't wake up wanting to sing, poetry, paint, cook. Sometimes I wake up and I just want to sleep. The fact that I wake up and I do everything that I feel, though, that's the point. Mm -hmm. So when I do and when I'm aware as an artist that I psychologically have something that can tap into everyone where they feel, then I won't get mad. Whereas if someone's like, if someone says like, yo, I only really like this genre, right? And I don't know them. Like, I just met them. And they're like, oh, oh, like, all right, that's cool. But in the back of my artistic brain, I'm like, do I have something like that? Oh, shit, maybe I, I, I got to make something. And Let it's me- not about because I like I want to know what they like. I want to know what groove it is, what what tone it is, what if it's major or minor, if the flavor is sweet or spicy. I want to know what makes that person tick as far as that goes. So my artistic expression actually isn't longing to be heard. It's longing to connect. Mm. So that's why the way I host shows, it, it works because it's a longing to connect and I'm able to make myself the joke. I'm able to make my the song the joke the 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 shit that I'm running the joke or whatever it is the joke is just a word to express the the malleableness and like melting of the genres because when we do these open mics it's a different genre with everybody that that comes up so to have to have a moment where so this is this is actually what I'm the point that of what I want dude I want to drop whatever I want to drop and have it be understood, but that's obviously not the point and case with fucking art. So that's why I make every genre so people don't know what I'm gonna drop next. So they're like, so judgment surpasses itself in one in one aspect, but at the same time, it's still they know the quality and the talents there, but at the same time, I'm connected again into everything else that that is around us at the time. So. What's up? What you doing? <laughs> this nigga is fucking what crazy. What you doing? So here's the thing. It's two things about what you just said, right? Mm. And there's there's one thing that that I said. I, d- I didn't even get to say what I wanted. Oh, to I'm say. sorry. Go ahead. No, no that that completely just fucked me up. So <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. No, you you. No, I lost my train of thought with that. Yeah, oh, motherfucker. That's man. all. Let's blame cake gold. That. Let's blame the cigarettes. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's two <laughs> things I want to say about that, man. I'm I, and I really wish you could finish. Mm-hmm. Your point. If there's no, any okay. way to bring I'll, it'll it come back. back. It'll come okay. back. If it comes back, just, I'm a rapper. It comes back. It'll if it comes back, back, interrupt me and finish your point so that we can get to that place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's two things I want to say, man. Um, you look at Instagram and you look at like all of these like platforms, right? That's what we really use to kind of project our, mm-hmm. you know, artistry on. You have to pay to play, and certain. I things, use YouTube. Even YouTube, well, yeah, YouTube, yeah. So, like, but if you look at Instagram specifically, right, there's a certain level of pay to play with them, right? Mm-hmm. But you don't, you have to do it a certain way to be able to get them to like fuck with your shit yeah. to be able to show your audience what Which it is. Which I'm against. I'm against all that. I'm not, and the reason why is because content I be- wise, I am. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why I'm not against it because mm. if it was just a content thing then it wouldn't be a mm-hmm. capitalist thing. And so we live mm-hmm. in America where it's a capitalistic society, so everything is about 
money. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And so a lot of the things yeah, that but you... I mean, but you're aware of how it was before the ads were incentivized. You're aware of how the app was. It was just free. Whatever was No, seen, no, no. It wasn't, it wasn't really free. It was free for the ones who understood it. No, and I so, mean, like, chronologically, like, what was seen was what was It wasn't, posted. but it wasn't not all the way, though. Sometimes, so, so, it, it, so. I'm talking like 2015. Yeah, I get what you're saying. And, 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 and what I'm at is right now. Like nine years ago, yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But it's even still, there were certain, there was a rollout of this shit. So mm-hmm. it wasn't like, you know, always, you know. Free, you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a, there's always a method to the madness, and so the mm. way to crack the code is always different. It keeps evolving, mm. and so if you can evolve the code, you can be able to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? But mm. it's always really pay to play. So to be able to get that visibility, there's a certain level of things that you have to be able to do or pay for to be able to get that level of visibility. See, that's where I disagree. Like I completely this, is, and this is why I'm still doing things how I do them because. When I did the ciphers, the New Jersey ciphers, yeah. and the Camden cipher went viral in 2011 or 12, that was natural. I was trending on Twitter, and I didn't have a Twitter. That's how quick that shit went viral, and it was a natural thing, though. That so what you, what, no, you, no, 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 what I'm saying is a YouTube link shared on Twitter won't go viral like that now because you got to keep in mind, Instagram wasn't a thing at that time, so... All the rappers on the cipher didn't clip their moment and put it on their individual Instagrams His- and Facebooks. So, so not only was there one source, it was my YouTube page. It turned into every fucking rapper has their own YouTube page. It changed the dynamic from a CBS to everybody having a Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and shit. So the views spread out. So now, okay, like. You guys are on a podcast, right? Or like right. A, a a cipher. Fuck it, let's use a podcast. Like, and we clip. Like, we have a camera on you, me, him, and him. But you only post your clips from this podcast. They won't even know if you're on this cipher podcast. They won't even know if you're talking to me in this cipher with the other rappers. This it took away from everything. So the individualization of everything took away f- from a lot. But then when that happened. Everyone became the the product, not the ad. So, on what I'm saying is, at this time, if before Instagram, it's not even Instagram. When Instagram came, there were no ads. You can't swipe twice on Instagram right now mm-hmm. without seeing a fucking ad. Mm-hmm. And it's an ad about something you talked about five minutes before. Yep. You didn't even type it. Yep. They heard you. Yep. They're data collecting and mm-hmm. they're doing it on all of us through every single thing that we're using. Mm-hmm. So the the game is completely changed from let me artistically bugs me where I was then artistically express myself to completely understanding that, okay, this is a content game and I'm aware that if I can just be consistent with content, no matter what it is, I'll be good. That takes away from the music side, right? So now I'm aware that the talent doesn't matter. And it now it now what is it at? Because I was always going to do a podcast. That's Brandon. Bugs. See what I mean or mm-hmm. from earlier? Mm-hmm. I was always going to do live performances. That's Brandon, that's Bugs. I was always going to do what I'm doing. Now that I'm at a point that I've been doing it for a few years, I'm like, what am I not doing that I want to do? And it's music videos, and it's like real creative directory that I haven't been able to do because I am so focused on staying on schedule, and then it turns into a schedule. And then I'm like, yo, I'm not art. I'm like not even expressing myself. And then I'm pissed that I... Because I have these phases as a musician where I, I go through my laptop because I make everything myself and I'll like just press file open and I'll like scroll down the files. Every fucking month there's like 20 new songs, right? Recently, the past couple months, I like haven't seen any new songs because like my motivation to just like go and just create to create has erased because my motivation has turned into an algorithm chase Mm -hmm. i'm doing this podcast right we could clip this podcast like to 60 seconds 20 times right Mm -hmm. we have 20 really good reels none of them will go viral fuck it let 10 like let 10 years go by like however things are in 10 years and we post a minute 
Watch a minute from this podcast. Can I and say this? Let, let me finish this thought with me. Mm-hmm. Watch a minute from this podcast go viral in 10 years. That's kind of where I'm at with like, I'm now viewing being a musician deeper than making a good song that people can cry to. I'm viewing being a musician as a painter, an artist, and captivating any moment in my life I can and using these as the pillars to where I put my fucking canvas on and then painting on that. I get you. And my my version of being a musician has flipped into full on just diary painting my life. Can I get can I give you And some? it completely it just adjusted, you know? So like so whereas a couple years ago I would have been like I don't care about being signed, which is probably why I never got signed, but that's not what I want. I want like I want the whole thing. I need like the TV, the computer, the stream, the video game, the video, the movie, the music. I need like a sector. Like I'm not like a It's a few things with that. Ludicrous with three albums. It's a few things you with that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. I get you. It's a few things with that, right? <laughs> Shout out to Cat Williams with that. <laughs> By the way, who knows what happened with that? It's Jeez. a few things it's a few things with that, right? Um Number one, you have to have, and this is what I was talking about, adding value to people. Mm -hmm. My perspective is always to add value to someone else before I can add value to myself. So I go into a situation where, how can I help you? Which is what I've done, yeah. Yeah, but Mm -hmm. you have to stay there in that space where it's like, how can I help you when you're on this level? Mm -hmm. Number two, it takes money to be able to do everything. To be able Mm -hmm. to really make an impact on things, you have to be able to pay for it. Mm-hmm. It's just the reality of things. There's a budget behind it. So if you get signed to someone, what you're doing is you're getting someone. You're getting that, a loan. That's all it is. That's a, it's a basic. So that's, basic why never, that's why I never, never wanted well, to get signed. But it, it, it helps, though, because, you know. It depends on what you use the money for, if you can flip it. Well, yeah, yeah. But that's why. the investment, yeah. Yeah, you have to be able to invest it the right way. Um, but the, the biggest thing that I was trying to say is that. Um, when it comes to like podcasting, right? If you want a viral, viral moment, or if you want something close to a viral moment, or something that's going to do numbers, you have to talk about what everybody's talking about. So I'm gonna give you an example. Yeah, it could right? be a live base type thing, like no, current, I'm a, I'm current a, event, like a current event. It's yeah. a current event, but I'm gonna give you an example of why I say that, right? I mm-hmm. did a so one thing that I do, right, is I ex, I expend resources on getting information from people who are successful, mm-hmm. right? So I have a, there's a guy on YouTube, right, that makes fucking bank. Mm-hmm. He only have a lot of subscribers. He got maybe like 20,000, 30,000, he might be more than that right now, maybe like 50,000 subscribers. But he can mm-hmm. make six figures a month off of just YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. And so he, he showed a course on how he was able to do it. And a lot of times what people do is, if you find somebody who understands the value of what it is that they're doing mm-hmm. and they're able to sell a course on it, they've went through some shit that we've... We, it, there's a, always a learning curve, mm-hmm. right? In anything, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to name it, Twitch, it, there's always a learning curve for mm-hmm. everything that there is. It, it, yeah, there's a learning you, curve. You're either giving the game out for free or you're not. There's, yeah. no, there's nobody that's going to give you the game for free. Mm-hmm. I mean, nope, me. <laughs> well, 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 I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it like this, but you can give the game to mm-hmm. for free mm-hmm. up until a certain point on the curve. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. There's mm-hmm. certain people that are super successful that's making on you know six figures a day, uh, six figures a month on YouTube successfully. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying. Uh, so unless you're that person, then there's not really you giving the game out for free. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that you are or not. I'm just saying that that's mm-hmm. the reality of what how things move. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So this guy. When he gave the game out, I took his course. I gave it to my brother, too, as well, Daniel. Deet you crazy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and in the course, I haven't even gone through the entire course. But in the course, I paid $500 for it. Mm-hmm. That's a steal. Mm-hmm. You, you, you have to understand what I'm saying. It's a fucking steal. In the course, he expressed how this guy, right, he was a divorce attorney. Mm-hmm. Tenured divorce attorney. 20-year tenured divorce attorney. And on YouTube, he was giving A1 game on how to navigate a divorce, especially as a man. Mm-hmm. Because he's litigated and went through 
countless courses or countless cases where he was yeah, going through divorce, right? Guns. But those, the things that he was given, those, the the, uh, the, the content, I'm about to explain it to you. Here's the point that I'm trying to say. You got to hear me out. Talk about divorce. I was joking. Oh, okay. My bad. The point that he was trying to... You got to laugh sometimes. Yeah, I know. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, 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 the information that he was given in those accounts mm. was priceless, right? Mm. Minimal views. But when he started talking about like mainstream topics of what's going on in the media... Yeah. That's when his views Topics started shooting. Were like, like that's what I'm trying to keyword, say. So you, keywords and shit. That's what it, 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 yeah, pretty much, yeah. But that's what I'm trying to say is that you mm -hmm. have to give the people what they want towards perspective, yeah. but you can give yourself and what the people want in yourself, and that's the middle ground of it all. So a lot of times when we give the people what we want them yeah. to have, my cousin gave me an example, right? He was talking well, about not, not, not to cut you off. That is, sure. um, like. For example, in the beginning when the Camden Cypher went viral, that was viral in its natural state. When yeah. viral wasn't even really was, word, when mm -hmm. it wasn't even word yet. There was like, a demand for whatever it. Whatever was being shared a lot, that was viral. There was a demand for it. Then the keywords and that things adjusted to those lines in like 2014, 15, well, what you have 16. To, what you have to identify is what was the demand it, for that viral moment what I mean to is be like able to the, take away the, from the that. Key, the keywords change everything and everything about being viral. After that, changed way more to... Something naturally going viral versus this is a trend. So, so for example, people going what they want. If, if there, if there's, if there's like a video of a dog, a funny video of a fucking dog, dude. Like this is just the funniest video of a dog ever with a voiceover. That's gonna go viral. But there's mad but funny videos of dogs all the time. Mm -hmm. Versus nowadays, if there's something that is in tune with a current event, like talking about aliens or whatever the fuck people are talking about, like this week. Typical, like we're back at election time, so like all this political stuff is back. You know what I mean? When it's into lines with those as current events, yeah, they go because, for example, I this is literally all right. So this is I you're the actually the person I need to tell this to yeah. because you're the one who cares about the algorithm and how it's adjusted. Like yeah, this. absolutely. When I say I went viral before viral, like it was before viral was the word. After that, I spent. A couple years experiment because I got a DUI after the ciphers and I got stuck down here at the shore. So I had to find a new line of musicians down at the beach versus down. Um, you guys are from Delaware, but it's an hour away. I'm talking about like I'm from New Orleans. Thank you very much. Yeah, but, but well, okay. But uh, more rural specifically. Well, not here, clearly. I'm just joking. But uh, but an hour away is like a completely different place in New Jersey. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So I had to find a whole new lineup of musicians out here and. In that time, that was when the internet was drastically changing from, like, this is when Instagram happened and, and everything started getting split apart, you know what I mean? And the ciphers, the the viewership of what that was changed, right? So I was very aware that, okay, the cipher will get views, but it won't spread algorithmically because the ad incentive changed. Now, what that means is me, you... D and fucking K Gold, us four, in 2010, if we shared a YouTube link on Facebook, 100% of our friends saw it in chronological order. So if we posted this at 2 p.m. and your yeah. friend logged on at 4 p.m., yeah. they saw who posted it one before ours yes. with the scroll. Yeah. It's changed. No ad needed, nothing. Yes. And it was because it was YouTube. Two years later, you post YouTube link on Facebook as a status. You're now shadow banned from 40%. Now, chronologically, you're also shadow banned from the next 20% mm -hmm. if you don't get likes within the first 30 minutes of that post. Mm -hmm. So if you get one like within 30 minutes, that means you're pushed to the back. It means you're not popular. Basically means anything leading from Facebook's website is going to shadow ban. I hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me like really explain what's happening because okay, I'm, I'm talking from an artist perspective, I'm not like because I understand like the ad incentives and shit. So like from this perspective, I'm stubborn. Now I'm like fuck you. Now I'm like I was successful with what I was doing, and now you want me to pay ten bucks for a Facebook ad 
so you can thrust me into the algorithm that I was already in, motherfucker. So add this to Facebook. This is before Facebook bought Instagram, by the way. This is before Gmail bought YouTube. So these are still separate entities. You know what I mean? Netflix isn't a thing. So now 26, 17, 18, two years into Trump, that's when things started getting really, really, really weird. I started posting, yo, I would post a YouTube link on my Facebook, minimum 50, 100 likes, you know. I was getting zero likes within a month, dude. Zero. So I started experimenting from 2015, 16 on. I started experimenting. Let me just post words. No link. Nothing leaving from the site. Right back to 100 plus likes. Mm -hmm. I was aware of this. And then Instagram came. and Instagram was there, but it became more popular. But then Facebook bought Instagram. I remember remember the change on Instagram the second Facebook bought it. Because it changed. They wanted you to connect your Facebook to your Instagram. They wanted you to do these things where, like, if you connected your Instagram to your Facebook music page... So I have a Bugs Facebook page, music page, because it's, I have a Facebook page, and then my Facebook page runs the Bugs music page, right? Mm -hmm. But then I have a Bugs Instagram, which Mm -hmm. is just Bugs. Mm -hmm. Connecting the Bugs to the Bugs Facebook, they both got no likes. I disconnected them, posted separately, they both blew up in likes. Okay, so I'm aware now algorithmically there's something going on with the connection of the of the apps. They want to incentivize they w- they were shadow banning regular people, mm-hmm. making them feel like they had to pay for oh, I have a small button business that sells five buttons a month. Let me pay fifteen dollars for a month. It's only fifteen bucks mm-hmm. and put me up in an algorithm that they're actually technically not even getting thrust up into. Mm-hmm. That's my point. And I watched the whole thing. I watched all of it. So when I saw Twitter, what happened in 2020 when they banned Trump, freedom of speech type shit. Mm-hmm. When I saw that happen and the years before that, I'm like, I completely hermit crabbed up, turned my back and just started filming my own shit. Just started artistically recording Mad live performances. That's why I was just started racking up podcasts, live performances, just just material, just 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 um groundwork material. Because I know what, like I said, there's something from this podcast that's going to be clip worthy in fucking ten years. See, if we were talking about current events, though, this whole podcast would only be clip worthy right now. So, like, tied into what you mean, they're both it. But, like, what are we doing, right? Like, this podcast for me is a conversation to have cemented in time with where your brain is right now and where mine is. And both of us are going to watch this separately in five years individually be like, holy fucking shit. So here I understand it. But then, now with the current events, this podcast is done. Now we could have a separate segment. Oh, well, let's talk about Cat Williams, you know? But then we would post that that day. Yes. That changes the incentive of what, you know, is being done. So same with art. That's like my point. Like I've I watched the algorithm get Can I ask you a question? Get turned into the paywall that you're speaking of. So what do you want what are you podcasting for? That. To cement moments in history of where you're at. In this moment, yeah. Okay. What you think in this time? So it's because it, it what I think a year to... ago when I watch a podcast from a year ago, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so much smarter, or like, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what these are for. I get for that. me, for me. I got a question. Mm-hmm. Can we take a little break? Yeah, we need to because I need nah, to change nah, the battery. Right? Nah, nah, nah. Perfect. I know it's hard to say goodbye You wanna leave life quick when it gets like this I can feel all the pain that's deep inside Don't wanna cut my wrist, I wanna end this shit Maybe I am the one to blame tonight Am I weak or if I cry? Will you miss me when I die? If it's yes, tell my ass a thousand times I needed love a long time ago Without some help, who knows where I'll go I'm bleeding out for you, it's vital For my own good, now I might go 
I don't think I don't think it's wrong. I'm gonna tell you what. I don't think it's wrong for them to adjust their sales process to be able to make their money back. Make it more expensive. Not make it more expensive, but you were talking about the fact that um, originally uh, they were make, giving you money off of reels and they made that back in a week. I think that that's oh, great no, business. No, 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 not that, not that. That, that's down the line, actually. Nah, but th- th- here's but the thing. Here's the thing, right? So I think that they went into it knowing that they were going to lose money on reels to incentivize it and then be able to make it back instantaneously within a week. That's good. That's that's good business. That's intelligent. That's how I look at it. See, I'm not talking about... All right, so that, yeah, that's... That's a... Uh, I'm talking more... That, that spot makes sense, yeah. I'm not talking about um the reels, though. I'm talking more about... um. When it was all free in the beginning, like Facebook, just straight up free. You can't, the thing about it Chronological is- Chronological order type the, the, shit. The purpose of being able to create a social media platform is to be able to eventually make money off of it. So what you want to do is you want to control the algorithm. You get them well, addicted. Well, no, Facebook was made so they could study. You can get them addicted to the From algorithm. From their words, it was made to study. That, that's not what Facebook was made for. It was made for them to Facebook study. Was a, Facebook is a business. Okay, it would no, be different. Listen, it would they be different. made Facebook as a college study group. It was like a private chat. It was a private chat initially, the Facebook. Yeah, yeah but it yeah. evolved into a social media where it is intended to be able to make to make money, to create a business. And so the thing about Facebook is is that Facebook is a conglomerate that decided mm-hmm. to make money. And so what they do is they have to control the algorithm. They have to control what is visible. Mm-hmm. And in order to control what's what's visible, they have to incentivize certain things. So I don't look at it as a negative. That's why I go it goes back to what it was that I was saying before. You can as a person, right? See, well, the, here's the to thing. Cut, to let cut me, that off, let like, me, hold on, hold on, hold on. They let got me, bought out. Let me that's say what this. happened. Facebook, <laughs> they got bought out. Facebook <laughs> never got bought out. Facebook <laughs> bought out. No, that's that's the point. Facebook bought they, out Instagram. No, they sold out is what I mean. Here's the point. You look at it like that, but it's business mm. at the end of the day. So if you operate from a perspective is of- Is propaganda it, business? Propaganda is business. Yeah, so yeah. what are we doing then? So I'm about to explain it to you. Because art, it, they, use, a, they use artists with Democrats. They use artists there's a difference. Shit, there's like, a difference between being able to understand the game that's being played and then being played in the game. Mm-hmm. So if you understand the game that's being played and accept the fact that there's, there's a game being played, mm-hmm. then you'll be able to be the person to be able to orchestrate yourself and position yourself to be able or to Or get be, blackballed. You can call it whatever you want because I know people. You, we can go into Cat Williams. Cat Williams is mm-hmm. technically blackballed, but still successful. Mm-hmm. How is that possible? If you blackballed, can you be successful and blackballed? Yeah, exactly. So blackball means nothing. All that does is they they what they do is they orchestrate and they conglomerate the main street media mm-hmm. of the masses of what happens, but it doesn't affect your bottom line because at the end of the day, only a certain amount of motherfuckers is going to pay for what it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Same thing with family. Family is not going to pay. They're not going to buy into your shit. Mm-hmm. The, the hardest people to market to and to, to, to get on board is fucking family because family sees you as the person that you used to be. Yeah, they're discounts. not going to see... Yeah, but not not even just that. They're gonna want the they're gonna want the most discounts. They want the most free shit. They're gonna see you as the person that you used to be. Mm-hmm. It's the new people that come a- along with you. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. It's the new people that come along with you and it's gonna see you for who the fuck you are at this very moment. And so that's the point that you have to understand. So there's a happy medium. But what if those new people that would like you aren't seeing you because you're not. You Man, th- what you're doing is you're trying to think about the you think about shit that is outside of your your no no I'm not I'm not doing no what ifs I'm doing like a real algorithm type you thing. Ca- the so thing- no no let let me put it like this for example uh, Kai Sinat those motherfuckers I'm on TikTok for example right and I swipe and you know how you can hold not interested on like subjects you don't want to see mm-hmm. I hold not interested. But there is clearly an incentive to push certain 
people and agendas and ideas on to, it's, what it's the not, algorithm it's not, does is it's not, it's not based on the algorithm this nah, is it is be, based no, on the this algorithm. is beyond the algorithm because what i'm telling the algorithm i want it's giving me the opposite no that's I'm not saying necessarily I'm not true interested in this stuff there are things i want to see i want to see animal videos straight up i only want to see animals and like goofy goofy I, fucking cats I, I, and I, shit listen here's so, a, so, here's when, the so thing. when i see when I see these motherfuckers on seventy different accounts because different no, accounts bro. are posting them, I'm gonna say to you that the, the algorithm is only pushing to you what you want to see, and dude, so dick, nah, nah, I'm, I'm about to explain to you because you use the term. I'm about to say. I'm about to explain to you. If you, you hit use not the interested, term, it's what it's what. Yeah, I, that's not interested. Yeah, but the thing about it is, is that there are things that are closely aligned to what that that content is that you align with. There's no way in hell that you only pushing out uh pushing out animal videos. If you were the person no, that was, uh, no, uh, obviously that's what on, I'm trying on, to say. You using that using that as a using that as a straw man argument. I'm, no, I'm gonna tell uh, no, you no, why. No, I'm talking about literally let me seeing, let me explain no, to no, you. No 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 L- listen listen dude. Okay. Literally if I see something that I don't want to see, whether say it's Trump, if I if I say not interested in Trump I don't want to see another fucking thing. Okay, so I saw one three scrolls so later. Hit, so I hit not interested again. I scrolled two scrolls. Not interested. Exit out the app. Here's That's the thing. Three times here's I hit thing. not interested. No, Let's use Trump as the all, example. It's not going to put so up that many Trump times. Is, so we're going to talk about real. We're going to talk about reality. That's exactly what fucking happens. You're it's telling me go- I'm lying right no, now. No, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm saying Are you telling it, me I'm lying. Dude? No, I'm like, not what saying the fuck? it. No, I'm not saying that you're lying. That's what happens. I'm about to explain to you. They force it. I'm about to explain to you. That's what propaganda is. I disagree. This is what the thing. Like. I disagree. You just told me I'm lying. I didn't say that you was lying. <laughs> if I, it, I'm gonna tell you like this. If I, if I were to tell you that you was lying, I would say you fucking lying right now. Yeah. I would say it verbatim. I would say that you lying. Word. The way that the algorithm works is it'll show you a not interested post once or twice, but it's not mm-hmm. gonna be one after the other. I'll give you an example, right? Say, for instance, you're not interested in Trump specifically. I'm telling you, that's not what I'm happened. I'm about to explain it Who's to you. Who's neon? Do you think I give a fuck about who Neon is? I don't know who Neon is. He's a fucking streamer with a goofy streamer with glasses. I don't know who the fuck these people I've are, seen dog. Him. I've seen a weird ass stream. I hit not interested. I scroll down, NFL highlight, NBA highlight, cat video. But can, let me, Neon again, let, not interested. Ne- dude, I'm telling you. Let I'm me trying to tell you, dog. They, they're and 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 from my perspective of algorithm before. I went viral before viral was a thing. I didn't right. even have a Twitter and I was trending. Exactly. Yeah. I was trending on Twitter, dude. I didn't have a way no. to capitalize on no, it because I, yeah. I didn't know that it was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. A year later, bro. A year later. Yeah. 2013, everything completely changed with how things were presented. So I'm talking chronologically. I'm talking with who you're following. I agree. Yes. So if I only follow 50 people, what this means is I'm not seeing them 50 people... Let's let's make it smaller. If I follow twenty people, bro, mm-hmm. I'm not seeing twenty people. I'm seeing two of them and add two of them and add, and the two of them that I'm seeing are from a week ago. Can this I start? Can I explain to you why, bro? This, because it's business and all this. No, that's so, not what I'm about to say. So you're my, not. You're not. My, I, I haven't been. My able problem to... is like from the beginning, though. The it, it, the the incentives business wise wouldn't matter to me if the product. Didn't change Here's from what the it thing. was. The and product I'm trying from to what explain it, it to you. Here's it's the not thing. what it is. Now. Here's the thing. The way mm-hmm. the algorithm works is mm-hmm. it presents to you what you're most interested in. Mm-hmm. So the way that Instagram works is they want to keep you on Instagram as long as humanly possible. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Facebook. They want to keep you algorithmically involved in what it is that they want you to be involved with humanistic, uh, uh, as much as humanistically mm-hmm. possible. Say, for instance, that you decide that you don't want to see a Trump, a Trump video, right? Mm-hmm. But you are a conservative, right? Mm-hmm. Trump is the leader of the conservative party. So you like conservative viewership. You like conservative ideologies. There are certain page, pages that have conservative leaning type of content. This here's is the my point. problem. I but don't want on. that. Here's the point. I want the opposite side. <laughs> I want to see the but other the, side. The thing about it is that you're saying it's the opposite side, right? But if that's the case, that's what I, if if you're making it like conservative versus I'm a, not I'm not making it that I'm a, I want, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to explain it. I to want you. the internet to be everything, the, but it doesn't work like that. It should and no, it, it, it shouldn't work like it that. did work. Like no, I'm that. gonna tell you like it, it shouldn't work like that. It did initially, but because mm-hmm. there's algorithms and the reason why they have no, algorithms because, because businesses bought out you, these other wrong, things, bro. 
And they're it, advertising they're, I'm shit. A, I'm about to explain to you why you're wrong. <laughs> I'm going to explain to you why you're wrong. The yeah. algorithm is there to keep you on Instagram. So it's there to keep you on YouTube. So if they're mm -hmm. presenting to you content that you're not inter interested in, right, mm -hmm. then they're going to lose money because you're going to click out of the app. So the thing about it is, is that they want to give you the content that you're interested in. So the thing about it, like, I'll give you an example, that right? That happens. That's what's, that's what's happening. Like, that's what's happening. What do you mean? I don't think that you listen to Less people I'm are, People aren't using Instagram a lot. You're not listening to me. And, and and TikTok is losing viewership. You're definitely not listening to me, bro. I'm literally listening to you. I you're just, definitely not. I'm listening to you, but you're not listening to me. I just listened to you. What are you talking about? Like, I'm, like, I just I'm, listened I'm about to, to explain you. to you why you're not listening to me. I understand what the business aspect is. Yeah, that's not what I'm it saying. It literally makes sense. If like if they're incentivizing and playing stuff that I'm hitting not interested and I'm exiting out of the app, then yes, that scientifically makes sense. Why would they keep pushing that? That's what's happening because they know that anger fuels people. His so they're doing things that are making people stay incentivized on other levels versus interest. They're keeping people there off of anger and div division. Yes. No, bro. I'm going to tell you the like this. The most comments that people get are arguments and, and, and like I'm going to tell you like this. Do you it's get not on, compliments. Do you, do you look at your phone and be like, damn, I want to be fucking angry right now. Let me open up Instagram. That does not incentivize you. What you want to do is you want to have something that's that agrees. Not, that's, I'm about to explain what it to you. What happens is when you're on that. What you want, you what you want is you want to have something that agrees with your ideology. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. So no, if you, you don't like. I don't want an echo chamber, dude. Yes, you do. Echo, we all fall in echo chambers. What you have to do is so you have how to, the fuck am I in an echo chamber? I don't want. That's what I'm trying to say. What you have to <laughs> like, do? What, what you if do I is put not interested. Why do I keep seeing it? The, here's the thing, right? That's my question. I'm, I'm, exp I'm trying to explain it. If it's it. not incentivized. I'm trying to explain it, but you won't let me speak. You said you just spoke for like two minutes. No, it wasn't if alone. I hit not interested okay. on the video three times in a row, why do I keep seeing it? Do you want me to answer Did that? Did I even mention a person? Did I even look at, look at anything? Do you want me to answer that? Answer it, yes. I'm trying, bro. <laughs> I'm answer trying. it. I'm trying. So, all right. And this is, your, this is your podcast, answer man. It. Answer it. Answer it. I'm trying. I gotta be more respectful. I, I'm. I'm not being respectful, you guys. No, it's okay. Like, no, it's my fault. Because there's, 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 there no answer there. Like, there's. I, I have an answer. I have my experience of what actually has happened through the algorithm. But you have to be. You have to be open minded works. to be able to and see. And I, I understand the ads, and I understand the incentives. So I'm telling you, I hit not interested on this shit, mad times, and you're saying there's no way it still showed you shit. I'm no, it's not yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it did. That's not what I'm saying. At all. That's so not what, you, what I'm so saying. Say what I've been saying it, but you've been interrupting me, bro. I didn't, dude, you, you'll watch the podcast back to see that you fully explained it two I times. I did not explain but it. But explain it now, then. The reason, <laughs> explain it now, then. The reason why I'm saying that is because there is certain things that align with those interests that you're saying you're not interested in. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so the way that... The way that the way that YouTube, Instagram, they all work is what they do is they try to pin you hope, pigeonhole, pigeonhole. Because I'm a, if you look at it right, if you look at it from a bird's eye view, right, you're the person that owns YouTube, Instagram, or, or Facebook, mm -hmm. and you look at it from a bird's eye view. Everybody is pigeonholed in things that they, that aligns with their interests. It's all big echo chambers. If you are conservative, you are gonna be incentivized and promoted. Um, pages that align what it is that you believe in, that you've demonstrated to the algorithm that you believe in. So, like, if you're a conservative person and you into, you know, um, what's a what's some conservative sites? Um, um, the uh, the Young Turks, mm -hmm. or like, um, there's a bunch of conservative sites that I can't think of. I can see their their faces in my mind, but I can't think of them. But we'll use the Young Turks as a as a as a as a, a small insignificant mm -hmm. you know part of it, right? If you're interested in conservative views, those type of pages, even if you don't like the Young Turks and their ideology, they're gonna continue to pop up on your Instagram or YouTube feed because mm -hmm. you're interested in conservative ideology or or in the, uh, not conservative but um, liberal ideologies. Now, if you're a conservative. The pages that align with conservatism, because that's what Instagram does, it, what it does is it puts you in your echo chamber that you want to be in. So if you understand how the algorithm works, the algorithm wants to put you in the, uh, in the echo chamber that you want to be in. My point is that that's wrong. That's my whole point. What's wrong about it? 
the last thing you want about the internet is it to be an echo chamber when you're searching shit up. So if you type in Google and you look this up and you get the answer you want to hear, you let, what listen, you listen, want. listen, listen, fuck what you want. Let's get to the answer, the Let's truth. Yeah. If you ask Google because of your algorithm and it gives you an answer based off your algorithm versus the truth, fuck that. I want the truth. So if I'm asking this shit something, I want it to be the generic, non-obligatory truth, dude. I don't want no other if, ands, or buts. Meaning, chronologically, too. If I open my Instagram and you posted at 1 p.m. and he posted at 4 p.m., but I scroll and I see him before you, I'm pissed. Because now my day is fucked up because I'm not viewing the day how it went with, hey, who I'm following. If I only follow 20 people but I see 30 ads, what the fuck am I following? Because, listen, when I started using the app, before the ads were used, before the algorithm was incentivized, because there wasn't an algorithm, it was chronological human beings that we knew. Why the fuck do you think I went viral before I knew what viral meant? And it's the only way I went viral, because had I started to go viral and ads were needed then, they would have shut my shit down before I got 30,000 views. That's a fact. And they would have said, yo, did he get his visor shot? Yo, did he shout out Coca-Cola? No, fuck him, bro. That's fuck wrong, that. though. No, 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 no. no. I, gotta, no, no, I disagree. No, no, no. Not, I disagree. You're not about to cut me off now because I'm not, now I'm, I'm on the real ahead. shit. Because this, 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 is, shit. this is what talk really shit. this is what really happened with the businesses. Go ahead, talk and about how it, it got incentivized. Because this is before fe- Facebook Meta bought Instagram. Instagram was separate from Facebook. Gmail was separate from YouTube. All these things were different. If I posted my YouTube link on Facebook, 100% of my YouTube, YouTube followers. friends, mm-hmm. not followers, mm-hmm. friends saw it. Mm-hmm. A year went by, I posted that YouTube link, 20% saw it. Can- and only 10% of them saw it if 50% liked it within the first 30 minutes. I get no, no, you. No, 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 yes, no, 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 I hear you. No, I no, hear no, no, you. no, 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 you don't hear me though Talk because now they're shit. talking about ads. Talk now they're shit. talking about, hold on, Talk if you have shit. an ad on the beginning of the YouTube, now you can be thrust to the beginning of this shit and it turns into a whole propaganda thing. If you say one thing about Orange Man, you're done. You, you saw what happened I to our you. friends in 2020. Bro, people, I lost a whole no, 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 Instagram no. page to a fuck Trump campaign. I lie to you not. So I can show you pictures of it. Let's rewind it. I'm talking about a fucking musician, an artist who's trying to can we take a shot? Talk about can interest we, and, can and we, life. Cheers. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, cheers, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we continue, cheers to life, dude. We're no, no, it no, out. no, 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 <laughs> no. Cheers kidding, to kidding. cheers to my brother Bugs because he's telling the truth, man. He's mm. speaking the truth, mm. and I want to speak to that. I want to, you know, what I'm saying he's telling the truth. My guy, but go ahead. When it comes to business, the problem I have with Statements like that when it comes to art and business, they're not the same thing. Being a good businessman to me means like you just understand how to be a shitty person. No. no I'm not taking a shot at anybody who does business. No, Because no. when it comes to art, that's an emotional thing. And there's levels of consciousness. And if you want to talk about the stages and shit like that, when it comes to art... A person who's spending all their time finding out who they are yes, and an using that time mm-hmm. is an artist, but that is could be considered a waste of time to people that are just chopping trees down and making things for the people. You right. know what I mean? Understood. Yeah. So there's all these things that happen when it comes to like thinking about what's going on as an artist. So how to make Here's money the- how to how to make money and survive as an artist is one thing. Yes. All these things being judged, put in a box. These are all conversations. But now we're in a different time and we're talking about how we can share it. And when you have a motherfucker like Joe Rogan <laughs> saying, yo, now's the easiest time to go viral. No, Joe Rogan slander. Joe no, Rogan. Man. I it, love Joe Rogan. It was easy to go viral and like I'm talking about in 2010. When it was naturally I you, anything bro. went. I fucking get you. Now it is fully. Can I say this? Let, let me finish. Like, like I'm not I'm not done. I'm, I'm not sorry. done. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to interrupt this you. Is a big I'm old sorry. rant. Right say here. it. Talk your rant. Talk your rant. What was rant. happening then with it naturally going based off of talent or actual shares, it turned into by the way, you do know that like sixty percent of the internet is bots. Yes. Like Full on, we all understand. Facts. Sixty percent facts is fake. I agree. So, yes. So, for example, just to give you an example of what I was doing, I was doing ciphers. I did a Marlton. I went town to town to town in New Jersey, mm-hmm. and I had people comment online for their top two favorite rappers in the cipher. Can I bring this down? So, yeah. So, if someone wrote one name, I considered them a bot. 
Because in the instructions, it says vote for the top two mm-hmm. and give maybe a description. Mm-hmm. So if they just said, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, that means you sent this link to all your cousins and just said, comment my name. I didn't count it if you wrote one name. I counted it only if you wrote two names. There's stipulations is I did. Is that a bot, though? This is before bots, dog. Okay. No, so every single vote that I counted was that. That's one side of the conversation, and I'll bring the vote in counting up another time. Okay. But, um, but I knew, as a human, reading through all the comments, oh, this was copied and pasted. This is a real vote. You know, you can tell because you can look at the account. It's YouTube. You can click on it. You can see their page. You can see, you know what I mean? So I had the time. Died. No, it didn't. Not I, me. I, oh, I had the time. I got time today and I did it. And I noticed a year later after, like I'm talking a year after the one that went viral went, it was spam, 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 spam. Like just one, like way different than yeah. the first one. Yeah. Whereas like if we're talking percentage, a hundred people voted like 10% was bots, mm-hmm. right? 10 votes were fake on one person. Mm-hmm. The next year, if we're talking 1,000, 10%, we're having not 100 fake. We have like 400 fake, mm-hmm. like Increased. copy and pasted yeah. and shit. Yeah. And the next year, I couldn't even really do it. I couldn't even really... That's, I'm talking internet shit. The bots and the fake shit with... The, uh, there was not even an... Al- algorithm wasn't a word mm-hmm. <laughs> until like 2018, dude. 2019. Mm-hmm. So we're talking 2014, 13, 15, you know? And this... I witnessed how it could work and mm-hmm. how it transitioned into real life to throwing shows and events and making money from merchandise. Mm-hmm. I was not making money from advertisements and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> when I, I got a DUI, and that's where I took a step back for a year or two. When I made a step back in, my posts were way down. Mm -hmm. I understand time and stuff, but like, I saw the difference, dude. I saw Mm -hmm. a very vast difference. So like, I have this weird emotional, I'm the fucking guy with the wooden bow and arrows, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy in the forest with the leaf over my head. Mm -hmm. Like, this is all bullshit. Because I understand the chronological effect and the real effect it has on the local community Mm -hmm. when you're here and it knows your gps and it gives you a 25 mile radius Mm -hmm. and you type in google a local pizza place and they give you this pizza place right Mm -hmm. but there's a pizza place closer that's Mm -hmm. better Mm -hmm. but add gave you see what i'm saying seo search it changes it changes the whole it changes the insight of what reality is Mm -hmm. because now you're looking at what this corporate okay well what are you using you're using google Google, who's through, who owns Google, Gmail owns YouTube, uh, all of it changes. And I get you, and bro. And now it's not politicians. Now it's not. It's now it's corporations. Mm-hmm. It's not governments. It's corporations that are the governments, not mafia. It's fucking Facebook. Can I? So, it's, it's, it, yo, it's not the mob, dog. It's, it's Facebook. Facebook. I get it, bro. Can I say this? To and you? it's and it's psychological warfare. I, it, and so, so so to finish my statement. Mm-hmm. To psychological warfare based off propaganda, mm-hmm. based off of who gets seen in the algorithm priority wise. If I'm saying, yo, don't get the shot, da, 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 I could lose my account. Mm-hmm. I could lose mm-hmm. all of Bugs' music. Mm-hmm. He's not saying that. Everything Bugs, He's using that as an example. Everything the, that's see, a, see that's that? I don't like that. Big da- t- talking to dad. I'm going to. Like, no, I'm going to do it for <laughs> him. See, I don't like I'm going to do it for him. That's what I'm I don't against. care. And that's what I'm against. So. He can be against it. I'm going to win it. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm going to protect him. <laughs> I'm going to protect him, okay? He got the shot. We're protected. I'm going pr- <laughs> to. No, no, I didn't get the uh, shot. We're both protected. <laughs> I'm just protecting his podcast. That's all I'm doing. No, no, no. That, you he's see not, my point, he's the next example. That's my point, though. That's That's the point. That's the point. I get it. Like, okay, so like noise complaint, you can't be loud after 11 p.m. Okay, I won't scream or play the drums. But if you're going to tell me that I can't fucking... I get you, bro. You know, so when it, now when it comes to a fact of like, I just want to paint, right? It, erase all of this. I just want to I just want to show what I have, right? And my flower gets the same amount of sun that the corporation's flower I gets. I get you, bro. You know, they both grow the same, but... The camera is just pointed right here, you know? So I'm aware of that. So I'm going to point my own camera here and do it here. But but what this flower is just like, like that's what's happening. I and, get you, bro. And since that's the case, it's a natural rebellion. 
it's a net. It's just. I get you. I'm never paying for an ad. I get you. I went viral before it. I'm never. Unless you give me you. an unlimited supply of vitamin D or something, Facebook something, I'm gonna do what I do, and that, like it, and it is a person to person thing, you know. It does it does start and end with like who you know, how you're meeting them, and what you're doing. But like these things, these are like this is human rights shit that like that really really it hits here. I get you. And you want to know? You want to know something though? I know that a lot of what you're saying is going to resonate with a lot of people. Mm. A lot of what you're saying is going to resonate with a lot of people. Mm. But I don't give a fuck about them at all. It's business. At the I, end of the day, it's business, right? Well, I, but, I, but I don't give a fuck about anybody that... I don't give a fuck about them at all, for real. Mm. Because the world that we live in and the world that we always have lived in, our ancestors have lived in, is the adapter you die live it. Yeah. The, the adapter you die Oh, I'm world. not bitching, by the way. No, no, I'm not saying that you are, bro. I just, I just want people to know, like... I get what you're saying. Where, where it was, the promised land that we had for three years. <laughs> Can like, I, I just want to... I'm beautiful, not saying, free internet. <laughs> I'm not saying that, bro. I'm not saying that. I'm not no, saying I, that. I, 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 I'm I not saying that. No. I'm just... I, that, you're going to fucking die if you don't... If it's cold outside, okay. Fucking make a fire, or kill nigga. Something. That's Go but the the, the like, thing about it is that there are gonna yeah. be people, yeah, who resonate and yeah, but yeah, they're yeah. gonna resonate with the things that you're saying, and I understand it, bro. I understand where you're coming from, one hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? You like, bro. I don't look at you and think less of you. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I understand yeah, what yeah, you. Yeah. But the thing about it is, is this: we don't live there no more. Yeah. You have to understand. So people go into business to make money. Mm -hmm. They go into business to make as much money as humanly as fucking possible to make money. Mm -hmm. So what they have to do. I never got into it to make money. So yeah, that's short. That's, that's yeah. a you thing, though. Yeah. You have to mm -hmm. understand that. Mm -hmm. You are, you don't you don't yeah. rule the universe for sure. Your perspective yeah. and how you look and your ideologies and whatever mm -hmm. you feel. They're just, all wholesome and like positive. Yeah, great. We love them. You know what I'm saying? But they don't they don't it. rule the universe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we have to live in the reality of what the universe is. And whatever mm -hmm. your the rebel that you are caused for mm -hmm. and how you operate is you. Yeah. And I'm not gonna knock you for being who you are. I'm mm -hmm. not saying you're wrong or right. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the reality that we live in, algorithms change. Yeah. These motherfuckers in, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, algorithms poof out of the sky. <laughs> it's like, but they, what they here's do an is, algorithm. This is what it means. Here's a this here's a purpose is. of an algorithm, right? <laughs> yeah. The algorithm is there to keep you engaged in their platform. Yeah, no, no. Do you understand no, what no, I'm no, saying no, to you? Saying, so yeah, you yeah. have to think about it outside of yourself. If you look at it on a mass. Yeah, that's why I wanted to explain my perspective before it. Because yeah, yeah, if you if because you, now I'm like now you understand why I'm so against it. Period. I get what, but, but I I'm not against it. I understand I'm not against what it is. That's the thing about it. Is I that, that's the point what I'm taking. It is. Like I'm, I understand the point what that it I'm does. taking is that I'm not against it. The reason mm -hmm. why is because if people want to be, here's the thing, right? If I'm conducting a business, they got us, dog. Because it hold does, on, hold it on, feels hold on, so hold good. On. It feels so good. It does. It does. But hold on, though. If I'm running a business. My mm -hmm. job is to keep you as engaged with the shit that I'm running mm -hmm. as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an algorithm mm -hmm. that allows you to be in the echo chamber that you want to be in. So you can feel empowered by it. Mm -hmm. That's what Instagram, Facebook, all that Twitter, that's what it all is. It, they, YouTube, they're all algorithms. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're getting promoted to you is the things that you want. Mm -hmm. All they trying to do is promote to you, promote to you is what they want. That's it. So you can't be mad at them for doing the things that is <laughs> so in the interest is, of this themselves. Is, this is where, like, this is where it started actually, because like, no, there is because instead of what I found myself when I put like a movie on at the end of the night, right? I don't even watch it. I'll scroll instead. Like, I'll put the movie on and I'll lay back and I'll scroll. But when I'm scrolling, I'm like, not interested, not interested. How is this even in my interest of thing? Um. When it comes to like the streamers and the shit that pops up on my thing, they're all posted by different ghost accounts. So when we're talking about bots, I wouldn't doubt that there's bot accounts versus bot commenters versus bot viewers on streams. This fucking streamer is not getting 80,000 viewers, dog. I'm telling you uh, right here's now. Here's the thing. Here's I'm the telling thing. you right now, this motherfucker is not getting 80,000 viewers every day. 
And you have streamers talking shit about each other's stream and shit. And I only know of these streamers, by the way, because it was shoved on my algorithm. Can I say this so to the, you? So the second I saw it, I said, not interested, not interested. Like, I actually started screen recording it, dude. I started screen recording me hitting not interested. Just And I'm going to put a compilation together of showing how much I've hit not interested for it to still be on my thing. And what you're going to see is that every account is a new account. Like, there, there's... There, there's other accounts clipping what they're doing on their stream, and that's what's being pushed. So in. here's so, so, so just I will say this: maybe it's not the algorithm. Maybe there's just mad accounts reposting clips. I disagree. And I see it in the thing. I disagree. I'm giving them the benefit of the it's doubt. It's all algorithm, and I'm gonna tell you why it's all Duh. algorithm. I've never heard. Let me of explain it, to of you why it's all algorithm, right? If Insta- if YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. If I was like, man, I don't want to see none of the content that I'm seeing on my YouTube. Why right don't now. I see bad bitches? Hold on a second. Why I'm don't a, I see? I'm about to explain it to you. Let a me, rapper. Let me explain it to you. I'm trying to say it. If YouTube, right? If I'm on YouTube and they promoting all the things I don't want to see on my account, mm-hmm. I'm going to stop using YouTube. Mm-hmm. No, it's YouTube, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's the thing about it is that if I no, only, I'm using YouTube. That's YouTube. I'm using YouTube. I'm explaining it to you, bro. But that's what I'm saying. I'm that's talking my about, point. What you have to talk about is as as the individual, right? So me personally, right? I'm an individual. All right, so you're not going to use it yet, but I'm that, saying... That's, nah. Here's the thing, right? It's like not look, like watching TV. It's so like he, no, Netflix. It's, here's the thing, right? I'm, I'm, I'm the individual. So you have to think about it in a micro and a macro sense, right? Mm-hmm. So in a micro sense... If on a micro sense, there are they are presenting to users mm-hmm. information or videos that they don't want to see on a micro sense, mm-hmm. then they're going to lose subscribers on a macro sense, and it's gonna it, it's gonna affect them affect them on a macro sense where they're gonna start to lose a bottom line on a monetary value because it's all business. Mm-hmm. The reason why I like business, right, is because business is predictable. That's why I love business. Because in business, you can always predict that they're trying to have a monetary goal in things. That's why I love business. Because when you deal with things on a liberal sense, when you deal with things on an artistic sense, their perspective or their reality of whatever the reason why they do shit is all based off of how they feel about it at that moment. Mm-hmm. Business, however, is all about the money. So if you in business, you're trying to make money. So and so in order to be able to make, if, if, in order if they're to make, investing, hold on a second. In order, to, in order to make money on YouTube, I have to keep you interested in YouTube. I have to keep you interested in when the things that I'm showing you. That's what the purpose of the algorithm is. That's why they become billionaires versus becoming millionaires. If a billionaire comes into play and give you an algorithm of all the things that you want to see, you're going to stay on his platform. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, they so, all do the same shit. So, so if the thing, so I'm, a, I'm, I'm about to switch mi- it though. You're missing what I mean though. Hold on. Uh, let, me, let, me get to the, let me get to another point though. As a content creator, right? Mm-hmm. You are a content creator. You're not a you're not the type of person that just ingests things from YouTube. You're not a user. Mm-hmm. You're a content creator, right? Mm-hmm. The only people that's going to get love as a content creator is falling in line with the algorithm, right? Because the algorithm already knows what mm-hmm. the people want. Mm-hmm. So the people are going to want what they want. There's so a mass that, of people that's, that's going to want what line, they want. That's a line that you pointed out that might be the explanation as to why. It is the explanation, bro. Why, because I am a content creator, yep. so my algorithm is seeing them. That's why I see them. But um, I don't think there is. There might be. Hey, they got more liquor left? All right. We, we've been talking for like two hours. <laughs> I just... But, um, but no, what, that, what you just said right there is like, okay, I am technically on these apps a content creator. You so are a content creator. If, we all are. If if I see them in my algorithm, that's why they're suggesting it to me. We are content because creators. Because these are other content creators. And Most people it. who are on Instagram, but YouTube, I, or I, Patreon I will, knows they don't for, think for as me, a content creator. For me, personally, I, as anybody that knows me, I don't listen to music. I'm a musician. I don't want any influence to be unoriginal I don't listen to you rappers. You are a content creator, no, bro. No, no, no. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. 
I don't listen to music. I took my most joy out of my life because I don't want any originality taken from me to like inevitably be like that. me involuntarily taking a melody or something like that's that. That's what life so, is. So life is borrowing from other people. Nothing is new under the but sun. That's, that, but that's how I feel. So I'm, talk, I'm saying how I feel. So okay. that being carried into content creation and how I feel, I don't want to see other fucking content creators. That, then you, I want to see a flower. Then you need to create YouTube. That's what I need to create a new YouTube. That's no, what I'm saying. No, no, that's no, what I'm no. saying. You need to create a new Instagram and a new YouTube nope. that's called Bugs YouTube nope. and Bugs Instagram. That's the thing. Yeah, so if you're not willing to do that, if you're not willing to go that far with it, then you need to fall in line in what reality is. Because so I need to fall in line and not talk about truth type shit. Like no, you could talk about truth, but don't expect the views. No, no, like so. This is what I mean. They could shadow ban me. It's not a shadow ban. No, like based off of what I talk about. It's not a shadow ban about, about what you talk about. It's just not interesting to everybody else. No, it is though. You think that it is? No, it is. The algorithm, right? I'm about to explain it to you. Are we talking about a robot? Are you talking about a robot? No, I'm about the to explain algorithm. To, no, I'm about to explain to you the difference. So is that, hold on, hold on. Is the algorithm a human or a robot? I'm about to explain to you the difference. Yes or no? Two. Is it like human robot? That's not a yes or no question. Like, no, like human robot. Two, it, one it's or the not other. neither. It's not neither. It's not a human or a robot. So Sounds that's a not, lot like a human to me. No, nah, it's not it's not neither. So here's the sounds thing. Sounds like a human being I'm picky about to explain fuck. it to you. I'm about to explain Depending it to you. Depending on what they want. I'm about to explain it to you, like right? Like a fucking human. Here's the thing, right? Let's say that they give it let's say that let's say that you have a hundred subscribers on YouTube, right? And how many do I have? You have a hundred. How many do you have? Me a thousand one hundred. It doesn't do it. matter. I'm not a part of this. this. It does matter. I'm no, a, let's we're comparing. We have no, to, no, no, we're doing a hypothetical, by the way, too. So yeah, like, I'm giving you the hypothetical, so I'm setting the parameters of what the so hypothetical you have is. A, so we need I'm someone to compare it to. No, we don't. We I'm do. telling you that the hypothetical doesn't require that. Because okay. I'm the one that's giving you the hypothetical. Okay. Okay, so let's say you have 100 subscribers, right? Mm -hmm. And YouTube pushes out to all 100 subscribers your content, mm -hmm. right? And they mm -hmm. all have a, a say about it. 50% mm -hmm. say they like it, 50% say they don't, they don't like it, right? Mm -hmm. But you have 100% people that fuck with, that you've had out of your subscriber count that interacted, has interacted with yeah. that with what it is, the content that you put out. Mm -hmm. What YouTube did was, they said that, okay, fuck doing that. What we're going to do is, we're trying to keep most people on the YouTube app. Mm -hmm. That's our goal because we're not here to do pro bono work and make content creators the most money that they can make. We're trying to make most the most money that YouTube can make. And so what we want is more people to be on a YouTube app. As a concrete as a content creator, you're only keeping 50 or 25% of your subscriber count on the app. Mm -hmm. We want more than that, right? Because we're YouTube. So what we do is we create an algorithm that determines what the mass of most people are interested in, mm -hmm. right? So if you fall in or outside of that, that's your problem. What you have to do is you have to acquiesce to what it is that we're doing versus us acquiescing to what you're doing. So you if see everyone the jumps off the bridge, you're going to jump off it. No, I'm not jumping off no fucking bridge. You're going to look at the john and be like, all right, maybe we can scale down this wall and tell people how to scale down it. Is that what you're going to do? What do you mean by that? You're giving me the analogy of jumping off the bridge. How is that an analogy? You got to make it make sense to me because I don't see it. <laughs> Every, this is what everyone's doing. Everything is happening like this. That's not so what I'm saying. Do it. That's not what I'm saying. YouTube is meeting the people where they are. So you have to think about it like this, YouTube, right? YouTube is mean, meeting the people where they are. Facebook, so, ha, YouTube. They're meeting the people where they are. And I'm YouTube is bringing people saying. from Facebook. Like, for example. I'm about I, to explain no, it to you, I bro. No, when I did the cipher and it was a YouTube link on Facebook, it, the only way the YouTube link got shared was because of Facebook and Twitter. The only reason YouTube Here's was shared. the part that you're missing. Though. Was because of those apps. All the people... They shared the link and interacted with that link. 100% of them mm -hmm. were on the link. There are people, say for instance, you had 100 No, no, no. Like a lot here, of people, here's what no, no, like back in the day when you were on Facebook and you saw a YouTube link, you would click here's YouTube. Here's what I'm saying you to you. You would click YouTube and not have a YouTube account. Here's what I'm saying to you. They would make a YouTube account from there. I'm explaining it to you. And vice versa. Say for instance, you got 25 people 
to get on your link, mm -hmm. right? And only five of them created a YouTube account because of it, mm -hmm. right? YouTube developed an algorithm where not just five people would jump on that link and create a YouTube account, mm -hmm. but 20 of them would create a YouTube account because what they do is they only push it out to the people that are interested in the shit that you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about as far as back then goes. but um, It's a difference because in the beginning, in the initial phase, in the beta phase of things. This isn't beta, dude. These are full. They were full apps. Full like, apps. Th th in, the, in the initial phase of things, mm -hmm. in the first initial rollout. I'm talking about like what it transitioned to. The point is what it was and what I was working with. It's different than it is today. Exactly. Exactly. So and I, I'm agree, a, I agree with you I on it. I have a reason to be bitter about it. You, and I'm going to tell you why, tell you why you shouldn't it. be bitter about okay, it. So, okay, I shouldn't be bitter. But the reason I am is because corporations came through and bought the shit and they add incentivized everything. So now artists aren't creating. That's not for, how it works, bro. Artists aren't creating for the sake of art. That's Motherfuckers not what, aren't trading for the sake of trade. They're all trying to gain a profit. And what happens? happens when everybody right. capitalist wise, right about tries that. to fucking profit you're right about we that. have a housing market that we oh, have you're saying we have facts. everything that we have you're right speaking now. facts yes. so, okay everybody all can facts. make guap off of things that they do everything you're saying is all like, facts dog, well what i'm talking about with with this shit there does become a um an obligation morality wise mm. when you when you are Mark Zuckerberg and you own Facebook, mm, but you mm, sell mm, it. Mm, 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 now mm. it's not Mark Zuckerberg's morality. Everybody has the face of Mark, but that they're pissed at. Mark has nothing to do with what's happening with Facebook. The morality has to do with who bought that shit. That's my point. So everything that incentive, like even to the propaganda of movies that we're watching, dog, movies, everything's at an all time low because the story writing, the screenwriting, the screenplay, everything is garbage because they're going to this ideology that people don't agree with. So what's happening? People aren't using the apps more. Here's the, the only, thing the about only, that, though. The only thing they're seeing people do is scroll more. What does that mean? That means they're scrolling past shit more. Let me explain things to you, right? So if, if, a, if a movie is not making money and their ideology of why they're making that movie does not compute to mm -hmm. actual revenue then they're going to have to make a pivot to mm -hmm. what actually computes to actual revenue. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you look at YouTube, for instance, right? Look at Star Wars. They're not doing it. The reason why is because Star Wars went woke. So what yeah, they, they all did, dude. Exactly. So what happens is... That's is propaganda. That it is the propaganda, right? So they went woke, right? So because of them going woke, they're going to have to deal with the the ramifications mm -hmm. of the network of the of the not making money yeah. revenue loss yeah, yeah. of them not being able to uh, give the people what it is that they want right. If the so, message but is the, strong but it's enough, the same. they're gonna do it. Though, no, it's not. You know? No, it's they're not because it. it's it's it. not strong enough. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, the message is not strong enough because no one fucks with it. Mm -hmm. They're turning their way. All the the, the the Jedi Jedi was a religion. Mm -hmm. There was a religion called Jedi. You understand what I'm saying? I never watched any of it, but I did. I was, bro. I'm mm -hmm. into it, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I, I watch. I've watched all of them. I have Disney Plus. I watch them all. There was a religion with Jedi. Mm -hmm. Now that they've decided to go work, they're what they're doing is they're taking away from the the market share of people that really fuck with it. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna start to deal with the ramifications of the loss of that market share, and that's what's gonna make them pivot. To whatever it is that the people oh, want. Oh, so, 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 no, I've known what you're saying the whole time, but the difference between this and where my point is that we were the first ones in 2010. 11, I get 12. you, bro. No, no, they, they, they had no, re like, no data. And then it happened. And now that we're 10 years older, now we're like, wait a second. I remember how the internet was. We're not talking about the dark web, dog. No, I get you. We're talking about like regular internet. So, so no, no, no. Now I understand exactly what you mean because yeah, that's correct. I'm, that's Bus just on that point though. Business. But like you also see how I feel about business. I do. I don't, I don't like that because if it's a business deal, then I mean, everyone's got to get, so it, 
even beyond the di- business idea, what we were talking about, everybody's getting something from someone. Yo, she's pretty. She's prettier than me. She smells better than me. Right. He has better weed than me. Mm-hmm. He's bringing alcohol. He has the cool lights to throw the show. You know, everybody has something that he raps good. Incentivized. Every, yeah. He sings good. Mm-hmm. Everybody brings something that the other person exactly. Have. Yes. There is a trade. There's a means of trade. It's yes. What milk. Some people don't need milk, but some people need eggs. That's what money is. Yes. So, like, that middle ground is there. We understand that. Agree. Artistically, we're more of an energetic exchange, which right. is a morality, okay. which is religion. This is In church. In a sense, yeah. It is church yeah. to that degree. Yeah. When it comes to a paywall in between church... That's where I'm like. So that's the that's uh, the point that I'm trying. I'm like, ah. Uh, so the, the thing about I, it is that you I can't know, have. I, I know damn well that it costs money to run the electricity and to have the building. You can't have the yin without the yang, bro. So like for example, like we're you gonna can't be, have the yin without the yang. If I'm not throwing the event, I'm paying to get in. That's my point. Exactly. So you can't have the yin. But without if I'm throwing the event, I'm, I understand having to charge. You, but th- that's a you small. Know? That's that's small. And the reason why I say that is because with Insta- kind of like the it's Instagram. Like a, Instagram. Listen. Instagram, but it, but they're both free. So this is what's weird because all these apps are free. Hold on a second. All though. of them are free though. No, listen to what no, I'm that's, saying. That, to you. That's like a deeper thing that really. No, it's not deeper. I'm gonna tell you why it's not deeper. They are all free. I'm gonna tell you why it's not deeper. Mm. Yes, they are all free. You are exactly right They've about been that. Free, yeah. They've been free. They will continue to be free. But the reason why they remain free is why. It Why should, do they it, free? Internet should be considered a human like no, bro. basic need. Why is YouTube free? It should be. I'm saying it should be considered a basic need. No, like bro. Water. No, absolutely like no. It's not a basic need. No, it is. No, it's not. It's Ain't not no a maps. basic need. You can't just buy a map in a fucking store bro, right now, bro. It's not a basic need, bro. Can you just buy a map and Target? if the internet crashed today, could you just go to Target and, and we get a map? went into we went into. A place, what is it called? Uh, dystopian, whatever. No, not dystopian. It's called something else. It's called... Uh, Where are you going to find a map, man? A map means nothing. You, I'm about to explain A to map you. is everything. What do you mean? No, it's not. <laughs> if if we don't have Google, you get, you're not doing shit, dude. What happens is what happens if we go into... Uh, you're not doing it's shit. It's not anarchy, that. but it's... Um, I know, I know the term that I'm trying to find. No, but. like seriously, if you had to go buy a map, where would you go? That's a serious question. You can go to a rest stop and find a map. Um, what's the 40 word? miles down the road? It's not 40 miles. There's rep stops all over every state. I, I passed a rep stop going, going into this state. I came through... Delaware, All right, so you gotta think how many people here. are gonna run and get those jobs. It's not, right it's away. not, a, it's not a thing. It's a need. Like an emergency. It's thing. based off of a need. You should have that. In but your the car, point that I'm trying should... to make is, is that if we go into, um, it's not anarchy. It, I can't remember the tone. That's that's what you're saying though. It's, that's that's what. If you're we saying. go into a place where the government does not exist, yeah, that's everyone's anarchy, for yeah. themselves. It's mm-hmm. not. That's not anarchy. Anarchy it's is something like that. Dude. Something uh, along those lines, but. Mm-hmm. If we go into that place of of ideology of how things operate, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you personally are not gonna be looking at the internet to be able to to provide for you. No, it'll be down. That's what I'm saying. So what you're doing is you're trying to take and put more relevance on the internet than it should be. So what I'm going to is that mm-hmm. YouTube is a business, right? Mm-hmm. And as a business, you should be trying to grow as a business. Initially, you're gonna give things for free. But eventually, you're going to go to a business acumen that's going to make more money for you. Mm-hmm. And so that money comes into people staying in tune in the YouTube. So you may lose people who are mm-hmm. in the YouTube on this fringe ideology of how YouTube used to be when it initiated and then go to the algorithm. And you may lose the ones that, are, uh, are, that don't associate with the algorithm, but you're going to gain more with the algorithm that you're going to lose with the algorithm. So the people who are on the outside of the algorithm need to understand that they have to adjust to the algorithm. That's just the, re- the nature of business. You have to evolve to that. If you don't, you're going to be less than, left in the dust. That's just the reality of things. So my point is that these people asking for money now. Talking about YouTube, Instagram, all that shit. They were the television companies before YouTube came. As they should be. They bought YouTube. As they should be. As they should. Which was free. As they should. And so listen to really what I'm saying right I'm here. I'm listening. Like erase, erase the business cap of like making money and like all this. 
But what, the, you what, can't what? erase that though. No, I, I, that's I, the premise for everybody. No, especially in the capitalistic society as America. The premise of that's yeah, that's the premise of the point. The that's, po- yeah, it's the premise. That's, Why do you can't. think everybody's depressed, dog? That's my point. The, Everyone's fucking depressed. The reason why everybody's depressed this. is because they think that they're owed something that they don't deserve. Oh, no, dog. You That's what I believe. Every, no, you think everybody's entitled like that? No. Yes, bro. Especially in America. No, 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 no. No, you know, you're sadly mistaken if you think that everybody thinks they're owed shit. Okay. That's not what it is. It's actual, actual human displacement. It's completely fucked up. What do you mean There's, by that? If we want to break it down to levels. Break it down, yeah. Literally, bottom line, motherfuckers go into college four years, have the requirements on LinkedIn.com because you can't go in these places in person and say, mm-hmm. hey, I'm Brandon. I'm the person that you're looking for. Mm-hmm. I have to send them a via email and hope that they fucking open it. Hope that they call it and hear my voice. Hope that things like that happen. This is all automated things. These so it's are just all, life, yeah. These are all, yeah, with the adjustment of how life is. Yeah. What it really means is motherfucking shit is completely subsidized to the internet and the algorithm. Meaning, the algorithm that we are speaking of is doing 50% of the work. 100%. That we're ta- exactly. That's my point. That's not how it should be. It should be human to human contact. Otherwise, why the fuck do we even have? Hold on, let me finish the whole because this is a I'm deep. Here. I'm here. I, and, and I know it's hard because like with some of the things that you say, I I lock on and I'm like I don't want to forget this thing and I want to respond to that. But there's a there's full I'm listening convoluted thoughts of what these things are. Good, yeah, I'm listening. When it comes to a person that's working in a warehouse and they're making this price, right? Mm-hmm. When we straight up do have the robots capable of doing it, that we don't need him. So now, is this person worthless? Does this person not deserve getting money? Like, what can they offer? Okay, that's a whole other th- moral thought process of what, hold on, of what they can bring to the table. Because now we have replaced a whole fleet of millions of people with what can be done like the algorithm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The thought of that process. The, the process of that means that everything, majority-wise, is by decision, meaning that everything that everyone chooses to do is what they're doing. That's, like, basis idea, right? So now what about the people who are doing the jobs that they don't want to do? Like, what about those people? What about those people who are straight up, like, yo, I will... I will run this fucking train into the side of the ground right now. Some people want to see the Those world burn. Those people, take them away. There's still a shitload of people that would fill that, right? That's like the ideology behind the workforce, right? So with that idea and capitalism, the whole idea is consumers, consumers. We have to buy. We have to buy. We have to buy. We have to watch. We have to watch. So if we're creators... But we're also consumers. Then we are. We're in a weird spot where everyone's kind of creating their own life, but everyone's consuming at the same time, and no one really is aware of where the consuming and creation breaks. And now celebrities and there's this line of people and politicians. We are so aware with knowledge of who's who and where they're at and how much this NFL player makes and everything and what it costs to live that there is nothing there's nothing to like literally make it make it not awkward and not weird so we we place this person up here and we're here that doesn't matter because we're still here and I got to go to work tomorrow but what about when okay I worked I, I'm not I'm not rich enough to go high five that celebrity. I'm just rich enough to barely make rent and go to bed at night. I lay in bed. I can't I can't afford Netflix. I can't afford YouTube TV because they went from channels to split in sections. I can I have to stream online. Okay, I'm paying for Wi Fi, blah blah blah. But like but now when I get maybe I do go on Instagram. Maybe I do go on TikTok and I scroll two scrolls and I see what I don't want to see. I hold not interested. I scroll down two more, and I see what I don't want to see. Exit out the app, go on Instagram, see the same thing. This is where it's propaganda incentivized. Now, it doesn't matter if it's like 
a streamer that I was like a name. We don't have to name drop, but if there's an incentivization through apps, through ads, if these streamers are paying to be seen more and their content is what's being seen and you hit not interested as much as you motherfucking can because you can't afford to pay for Netflix, Amazon Prime, and seven different fucking things now. All you have is an app that's free. You're now being incentivized and chunked into this lifestyle that you don't even fucking... I don't even watch streams. Why the fuck am I seeing a reality TV show relationship of people that I don't even fucking know or care about? So what I'm telling you is what I've done, everything that I've done, I'm, I'm, I am the example. But then I tested it, dog. I literally tested it. I literally screen recorded me holding not interested just to see if when I scroll it would be there when I open the app again. And, dude, it is clear as day that these fucking apps are doing things to make people anxious and insecure about like seeing certain things so i'm not talking about grand theft auto by the way when i was 11 years old i was playing grand theft auto i was playing a video game where i was killing hookers and shit i get it i get it does that make it right (laughs) no i probably should not have been playing grand theft auto at 12 years old straight up Mm. but that's a weird generation that we were in And being aware of that as a musician now, watching my niece at Christmas, my niece at Christmas on Roblox. Roblox is fine, dude. But on one of her options of the 500 games, it was a Lego girl bent over. And I was like, whoa, took her iPad, clicked on it. It was a a Lego made to look like Kim Kardashian, dude. Mm Mm-hmm. A Lego in a bikini bent... Okay, it's a Lego, blah, blah, blah. She doesn't know that. Okay. The fuck you mean she doesn't know that? She's seeing it. Britney Spears wasn't cool when we were kids. Like, that's not okay. That's kind of where I'm at, right? So that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about the whole thing. Now, okay, now add the business, the incentive. All right. So what you're saying is if I pay as bugs... If I pay 10 bucks for a Facebook advertisement, that means my video is not going to get 1,000 views. It's going to get 10,000 views, right? That means I'm not going to get five comments. I'm going to get 20, right? Right, dude? That's not what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Not you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. I'm like, what really happens is nothing. So can I say can I say nothing happens, dude? Can I say you this? get the you get the numbers, but nothing happens, and then when you post without it, it goes under. So here's the thing: because they incentivize it. Here's the thing, right? It's, it's like it's not a, it's not an incentive. It's, it's not incentivization. Incentivization. Wild. It's wild. I'm gonna tell you why the the algorithm is important and it's good. Um, it's definitely gnarly. Like it's dope, but. No, no, I'm, I'm, I, I don't I, like how I just don't like that. Other I'm than gonna that, tell you why. Dope. I'm gonna tell you why it's it good. is smart. I'm gonna tell you why the algorithm is good, mm-hmm. and the reason why I say that is because there was a point in time where you can put out the content that you wanted to put out, mm-hmm. and people fucked with it, right? Yeah. Now we're not in that place anymore because mm-hmm. the algorithm is gonna put the content out that most people fuck with. Yeah. And so what happens is, and this is just based off of what I was talking about. There was a divorce. That's why current event matters. Yeah. Well, like current event current does. Event, absolutely, yeah. man. There was a divorce attorney that was putting out great information about how to navigate divorces. And mm-hmm. there are many men that go through divorces in America. And that got no views. But when he started talking about current events, that's when he started getting all the views on his channel. He's probably being sassy as shit too, talking shit. No, to he him. was just no, he was talking about current events. But was he, he was, talking shit though? Was he like he was just Kevin ins- Samuels like talking? Not shit. really. No, he was just inserting himself into it. His, right, his well, name's the lead right. attorney. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he was in. I bought his course. He was incentivizing and and, and putting parts of himself in the current events so mm-hmm. that people be, will be able to understand. He just sprinkled himself in it because what you can't do is. You can't go against what the masses want. Yeah. And so the way the algorithm works is the algorithm doesn't push to you what the algorithm wants. The algorithm pushes to you mm. what you want. You mm. understand what I'm saying? You as a consumer. Mm. So 
that's how it works. So if you are a content creator and you want to be on the other side of the algorithm where you're trying to put out content that mm -hmm. gets more views, then you have to put out content that's along the lines of what the algorithm wants, which is... Yeah, and that's like... I'm about it, to explain it to you. No, I understand, but it's just so it's a, it's a, it's a it's like, point. It's a point that, that I'm saying to you. You have to put out along the lines of what the algorithm wants. It literally rubs against what I do it but for. But what, is, what is what the people want. Yeah. So if you... Don't alone, and, and what it does is it helps you cut up within the lines. I'm not saying that you mm. have to be that person, no, but I you know, can't look at the algorithm or how things are being pushed out and say mm. I'm being ignored or blackballed or oh, shadow banned. I never banned. did. I never did. I never. The did, reason why did, I say did, that yeah. is because the things that you push out is have it has to be along the lines of what the people want. Mm. It's the same thing with like what you do, right? You put on a lot of shows and different things like that. Mm -hmm. People want to hear that voice. They want to mm -hmm. get on stage and be heard, whether they got 200 followers or 10,000 followers yeah. or 20,000 followers. They want to be heard. They mm -hmm. want to be seen, right? So what you do is you provide a space for them to be seen. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with Instagram. They ain't trying to hear shit like your car fucked up. They don't even hear shit like But that. whether or not people <laughs> fuck with your music or not, it's mm -hmm. for the people to discern. Mm -hmm. But when you get out there and rap your song about how fucked up your car is... Mm -hmm. You have the space to be able to do that mm -hmm. at Bugs' platform. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether or not people fuck with it or resonate with it or be like, man, I mm -hmm. can't wait to hear more of this, is up to the people to decide. But for you, you have the opportunity. That's actually my point. Like the algorithm like took away the chance from the people to decide because it it's doesn't. Not, it's I'm gonna not, tell no, you why. Because of the algorithm, people aren't seeing it. Like they I'm gonna tell you, there's a good and bad with things, right? But I'm gonna tell you why it does not. It does I mean, not I, do I, that. I, I, not to, to, to finish my thing, like I'm not. I'm aware times change. Here's here's I'm you, not right? Bent up on the past. I just want people to be aware that like, Let's hey, say that you put on uh, on hip hop performance. This is where right? it was. We were just posting shit. You know, let's say you you put on a lot of hip hop performances for your shows, right? And mm. people come in and they they tune into that, right? Mm. And you can see what it is that they fuck with and what it is that they don't fuck yeah, with. Yeah, literally, right? You literally can see that, right? Yeah. Statistically, mm. that's the algorithm. That's what so, I. I mean, that's what so I. That's what I'm that's saying. What you I, you are an algorithm I have in have Information. I that's got what I'm saying. It. That's what the <laughs> algorithm is, though. Yeah, on yeah, YouTube, yeah. it's just you. Personified in real time. But the right? algorithm can be switched, dude. No, I'm, no, it can't. I'm going to tell you why. Because people are going to want what they want. The mm. algorithm is only based off of what the people want. Mm. So for you personally, you are an algorithm in itself. So mm. if, if somebody comes in and they're doing rock shit, right? And it's like, bro, how can I get more people to fuck with the shit that I'm doing based off of what you know as the algorithm of who the, the person that sit here and put these shows on and see it every day all the time? Damn, this I is just what had you. A huge vision, like if, hold on, hold if on. the algorithm was like an eyeball and it was me. That's versus exactly what it is, bro. You, you would be like, you'd be next to the eyeball, like fuck you, bugs. <laughs> you could be that, but oh, you could be like, hey, bugs. I'd be like, nah, fuck you. Ba -da 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 -da. Nah, Destroy but, the algorithm. but a smart person would be like, hey, bugs, you the eyeball that see this shit. What oh, is it that shit. the people want, so that I can be more successful in the things that I'm doing, mm. and I'm gonna try and move closer to that. I'm not going to lose myself in it, but I'm going to try and move closer to what it is that the people want mm -hmm. so that I can be at the place where I get more views, get more likes, yeah. get more, get seen more because it's in line with the algorithm. But, but it's also what, what are the views worth and shit if like we don't know if it's fake or not? Like what are they worth? Not all views. The thing about it is, is that there are certain views that are fake. People do buy they shit up. That's a fact of a matter. But in reality... The people want what mm. they want. And things that are going to go viral are the things that people actually want to hear about. Things that they're... Uh, uh, My uh, point is, like, they can be stopped. That shit can be what do you stopped mean by that? from being viral. Why, why would you want it to be stopped? Though? No, the apps can control what goes viral. That's my point. Why would they <laughs> do that though? The thing about it is that there's, that there's against a, their agenda, dog. There is no agenda. I'm Palestine. Say, How do you feel about a, Palestine? How do you I feel about no that? I have no feelings about that. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You don't, don't want to say nothing about it, bro. I don't even. Me personally, the reason why is because it's not gonna make, break, or give me any money. For you, yeah. Personally, yeah. so I don't have no opinion on it. I'm not. A, I'm not a Jew. I don't. I don't know enough about it. I don't know enough about it. You know, I, 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 when it when it shows up on my timeline, I skip through it because I'm not interested in so it. Because so, so skip through it, but you keep seeing it. It's how not, are you gonna feel? That's how I feel. The reason why I skip why, through it and I keep because, seeing it. The reason why is because I am associated with people who are gonna talk about it. So mm -hmm. the the viewage that I see mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. it, the, of the people that talk about things that I'm interested in, they also talk about Palestine, so it shows up on my timeline. So I just skip right through it because I know that the, it's not the algorithm showing me things that I don't want to see. It's showing me things that I may be interested in, mm-hmm. may or may not be interested in. And if you watch it for more than a second, you're there. They, they, they're like, they well, it depends. It. The thing about the algorithm is, is that they're, it's not there to promote an agenda. Yeah, whatever the it's algorithm. there to promote getting money. We live in a capitalistic society. So if more people are viewing YouTube, YouTube is making more money. If more people are on Instagram, Instagram is making more money. If more people are on Facebook, Facebook is making more money. So that's the incentive of it. The incentive isn't no nefarious ideology of like, I want people to just to believe what it is that I want them to believe. It's all about the money. We live in America. Everything is tied to capitalism. Mm-hmm. That's why I love business because you know why people are doing certain things. The reason why they curate the algorithm or curate the algorithm is not to make you poor. It's to make them more money because yeah. it's that's what I'm saying. So if you can align with that. You're saying exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> what am I saying? You're saying what I'm saying. What am I saying? Tell me. You're saying align with it, though. And no, I don't, no. I don't want to align with that. What, what, what is I'm it? naturally rebellious. That's not, I'm not saying align with it. You're saying where profits made, they go. What are you talking about? Like, yeah. I didn't say a lot. I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I, the last thing I said was, and you, what you're doing is, you're taking the last word of what it is. I'm, not, I'm, saying, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. What I'm saying I'm is, saying is that I said, saying. the last thing that I said was, if you can align with that, and that was what you took. I don't think that you, what I'm saying is this, right? Mm-hmm. The way the algorithm works is, is based off of monetary gain. Obviously, yes, that's the right. Point. So uh, we live in a capitalistic society. So the reason why I like capitalism is that you can understand why somebody's incentive of why they do certain things. Mm-hmm. There's no question. If you live in a liberal society, you don't understand why certain mm-hmm. people do certain things. Everybody's indiv- individual, individualized, mm-hmm. and they do things for their own individual purpose. But if you live in a capitalistic society and you have the people that are in capitalism succeed, you know why they're succeeding because they're doing things that most people like. YouTube would not be in business. Google would not be in business because Google owns YouTube. Google would not be in business if they just had an agenda. What they do is they align with what it is that most people want. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what most people want is outside of what we want or what we believe in. Sometimes what most people are drawn to is outside of what is susceptible to us, personally. Dude, we're not talking about a bagel shop on the corner of the street. That's not what I'm saying. We're talking about Google. That's we're not talking, what I'm we're saying. We're talking about people that talk to millions of people. That's where the incentive Google provides, is Google provides a service. It's completely different. It's so, a service that they're providing. So, yes, there is a level. So, there's an example where, like, does Joe Rogan have more worth than he has? Meaning, if Joe Rogan says, go get an ivermectin shot, should he be arrested because he said a suggestion that people disagreed with scientifically? When, as time went on, by the way, he was right. But... At the time, people tried to cancel him, and they actually actively did. So the point is, I'm talking about the pitchfork, fire type shit. You, what you're talking about is, fuck what they're saying, light the fire, this is what it is. I'm saying is like, hey guys, there's nuance to all this. Sometimes this guy is just popular, sometimes they're not. That's what it is. It doesn't. It does have to happen equally, though. Let it all fall down the stream equally. So if I open my app and I open it at 12 p.m., but you open yours at 11 p.m. and you see him that posted at 10:30 first, if you saw the person that opened behind, that wouldn't make sense, right? Why would that make sense? Keep everything chronological. No. That means the art. No, listen, listen to what I'm saying, man. The art, the art can chronologically flow the thoughts, the ideas. Otherwise, it turns into a constant current event. That incentivizes well, you. No, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying, Go man. Ahead. If, if everything turns into a constant current event, then that means everyone 
is in a fucking whirlpool talking about the same thing. What if you came on this shit and didn't know that the Sixers lost or didn't know that this person got their head cut off and you just came on and said, hey, I just want to see stuff and you happen to see your niece posted a picture of a flower before. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay, current events, put it at the top. A bomb happens. Put that at the top. But I don't need to see a fucking price for gloves at fucking Fisher Price when I should see my friend has a new song or my friend did some repair on a house. I want to see the order in which my friend cooked a fucking spare rib and he used a little too much salt. What, I don't care about what the what order is What you're asking is in for that. is the impossible. You're no, asking, I'm asking for, for the app to do what it does. No, no, you asking for the impossible. It's not the thing about so, it. Is, so, so this is my point. This is my point literally right here. What I signed up for when I joined the app was chronological order. Exactly. Right? I get you. Yes. The app changed. You. And why the fuck do you think everyone's bitching about these apps? Here's the thing. Garbage. So here's the thing. Because they're garbage. Because they're it's putting not garbage, their bro. Force, you go open your app and scroll two times without an ad right now. And I'm, tell me you're not pissed. I'm not pissed. Tell me you're not pissed that you see an ad. I'm every not two. pissed about it. You want to know why I'm not pissed about it? Because not, I because they're dude. They are they are a business Dude. in a capitalistic society that's right. meant to make money. So, so, so I'm not looking at them and be like, hey, do you, you should see the world the way that I see it. No, no, no. What they're gonna I'm do not making gonna... it about me there. But, they, but it is about you. No, I'm going to no, tell no. you why it's about you. Damn I'm... right it's about the customer, motherfucker. No, yeah, but you one customer. Switch it to, to fucking Netflix and Blockbuster. We used to have to drive to buy tapes and rewind them to... Getting it online, not rewinding shit, watching it as much as we want, to now only two people can have the account. You see how it's like a literal, it's, it's a it's tug a, It's in. called capitalism, bro. Yeah, and it's called fuck you. It's no, called, no, I, no, it's no, called, no, 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 no. It's called I will have Wi-Fi and illegally stream Every UFC if that's the fight, way you want to do it, then do it. Stream all this shit. Yes, do your thing. If you if that, that's the way to making, do it, then do it. They're not but making money, the, dude. They're, no, they're they are making, making money. money. Do you know the reason they're, why they're, they're losing money? Bro. No, they're not losing money. Your the, the Disney few people is losing money based off scripts alone because not even, not, of their ideology. Not even talking about it's because they don't follow the, the apps, algorithm. The apps. No, I'm, t I'm about to explain to you. Disney's losing money because the people who subscribe to Disney. They're not giving the people who subscribe to Disney what they want. Why? Why the aren't they? Who, because they have an ideology. It's the same spirit. It's the same thing that you're saying right you're, now and right in real time. That's my point. I'm about dude. to explain to you. That's my point. So the the <laughs> point that you're making is is that the things that you're trying to spout as far as business ideology, no, like spout as far as I'm YouTube explaining and it Facebook, to you. like you're not letting me finish. They're all the same. Let me finish the point. They are the same people. If you if you they're not the same people. Disney and the, who owns Disney and all these companies, Facebook, they are the same exact motherfuckers. No, they're dude. not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. The person who owns Google is not the same person who owns Disney. They are in the same group of agreement, dog. No, they have they have things that align with each other, but they're not in the same group. And so here's the, here's the point they that are. I'm. No, they they're are. not. I'm gonna explain to you why they're not. I'm gonna explain to you why you're, they're not. YouTube is a streaming service, mm -hmm. right? Disney. They produce movies and TV shows. Disney's a network too. It is a network. Yeah, I agree. Disney is a and network. YouTube also is as well. It has YouTube. Google, TV. but but Google owns YouTube. You understand what I'm saying? You Disney does not own YouTube. Google owns YouTube. Gmail owns. Uh, Disney is owned Google. by. I'm pretty sure is owned by Gmail. No, it's not. Who owns Disney? Disney owns Disney. No, Disney is his, dude, Disney's bought out. No, it's not. Disney's his own conglomerate. Yeah, can we all look up who Disney bought out real quick? Who bought out Disney? Nobody bought out Disney, bro. Disney's his own conglomerate, bro. It's not. I'm. I guarantee you. Right. I guarantee you, Disney's right. his own conglomerate. Right. What's the point, though? So the point that I'm trying to make to you is that the reason why Disney is failing is because they went through wokeism. So if you decide to go through wokeism and not give the people what they want, then you're gonna fail as a business. If you I, if you create an algorithm that what it does is the algorithm is like a circle. I mean, we just talked about Star Wars. Disney just like owns Star and Wars. it's losing it. Yes, Star yeah. Wars is owned by Disney. Yeah. Yes, I I agree. So if you create an algorithm, right, and in this in this algorithm, it's a conference the main people. 
about 60, 70% of people, but you will alienate 30% of people that's around this algorithm that don't fuck with it, right? Mm -hmm. You making 70% of the profit, which is a win, right? So that's the same thing with that, that I'm speaking to. What you're saying is, is that the algorithm should do, based off of what you're saying, whatever someone posts at that moment, and do, it, do the content based off of whatever real time, yeah. in real time. Yeah, but it doesn't work as a business ideology to be able to make them the most money rather than yeah, the algorithm. they have a product that they got to push. Exactly. So that it's not a product that they're trying to push. It's, the, it's what the people want. So the algorithm goes based no, off of, No, 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 no. I'm explaining it to you. That's not what the you. people want. You just said it's based off a product that they have to push. That's not what I said. I said it's you based just off said of, that. No, I didn't. I said I said no, it's not based off of a product. It's based off of what the people want. That's what the algorithm So does. Marvel. So the people wanted Marvel's movie, dude. The people wanted Marvel. They wanted all these girls together in a super no, movie. No, bro. That's not what I'm saying because they're all Marvel movies that were successful, right? No, like Captain they, Mar no, like the movie Captain was, Marvel, Iron Man, no, the listen, Avengers. Were the they movie, successful the or not? The movie is called The Marvels. I understand what you're saying. I know what you're it's saying. It's all girls. I understand what it is that you're saying. I'm not under. I'm not like, did disillusioned. You, did, you what even, you're did you see was the movie? Captain? No, I didn't because I don't want Damn to see right, all we girls. Didn't see that shit. <laughs> but was Iron Man, the Avengers, or what? Were the the not the Marvels, but the Marvel movies? Were they successful prior to? The Marvels. Damn right they were. Exactly, right? Yeah. Because they were giving the people what it is that they wanted. Mm. Do you understand know, what it we is We didn't I'm even saying? know what we wanted, dude. I'm telling you that most people want to see... The reason why is because there aren't women in the world that are able to take down men like that. That's just reality. Mm. So if you... People... What people identify is, is the struggle. Men have to struggle. Women don't have to struggle the same way as men do. That's just reality of things. Mm. Men, women don't have to go through the same perseverance and grow. Clip it. <laughs> I'm joking. No. Dude, I'm joking. Clip it, nigga. Clip it. <laughs> the things I'm saying right now, clip this shit because it's, it's the reality. <laughs> women don't have to go through the same hero's journey of becoming. And if they don't see that in a movie, then most people are not going to be interested in it. It's just not. And so Disney is what you have to look at is as the scapegoat or the ones that are taking the arrows because they're doing wokeism and they're failing with it. The same thing with Bud Light with Dylan Mulvaney. Mm -hmm. They failed with that. They put Dylan Mulvaney. See, I don't look. I don't look at that as like a failure. I'm gonna tell you, it's I a failure I look because at that as like, because I look the at people that, that a... drink Bud Light said that we're not paying for Bud Light because you're trying to push on us things that we're not interested in. That's what I'm so saying. So that's what the algorithm is. That's not a failure. That's a full-on, It's yo, a failure. That's like, what are you doing? It's a failure. Yeah. So the, 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 the thing with beyond the algorithm... Beyond failure. The, it's beyond failure. Beyond the failure. thing about the algorithm is, is the algorithm only gives the people what they want. If people are not tuned into YouTube, then YouTube fails as a business. So what they did is they created an algorithm that keeps people more tuned in. Well, you just said the Dylan Moven and people didn't want that, but they did it. It was forced through ads. You know, but, how, but you know, but hold on, what my, the, what my point is millions of dollars lost. They spent on those ads. And they lost millions and of dollars. It didn't work, right? They lost so millions of dollars that's, behind it. Just because there's ads incentivized doesn't mean that that works. Exactly. That's what that's, I'm trying to say. The algorithm does work though. What the algorithm does is it only mm. it gives you what it is that you want to have. The because algorithm tells, apparently from your words, tells you what you want to No, see. it's not what I'm saying. It's, it, what it does is it gives you what you want. So if I open your algorithm and I see some weird shit, I'm gonna are, give you an gonna, example. are you going to blame it on the algorithm or because of what you want to see? It's because of what I want to see. Oh my God, dude. No, the point of the algorithm is... It's because of what I want to see. Some people... No, the algorithm point of the is algorithm is supposed with... to be random. No, it's not. It should. No, it's not, yes, bro. Yes, it should. Because the point of the algorithm is not to be random. It's to incentivize you to use the app. That's what the business mindset and is. I'm talking... I'm trying... I'm If coming, you're giving me some random I'm shit that I'm not the interested in... The wooden fucking arrows... With the shit on my That's arm, over with. with the leaf over my head, it's over the with. reason that let it go, that point, don't exist no the more. The point of the algorithm is to find shit that you didn't know. No, that's shit. not the point of the algorithm, bro. When I type in Google, I don't. The point of the algorithm is to give you what it is that you're looking for, when so I you stay on the Google, app. When I type in Google, that's the point of the algorithm, so, so that they make the money answer. off ads. I don't want the answer I want to hear. I want that truth. 
I want the They're going to give you the answer that you want to hear. Nah, I want the truth. Yeah, but you, so, unless you, unless you're open minded enough within yourself to be susceptible yeah, to hear other opinions, then you're never going to be able to find the truth. You're only going to find the answer that you want to hear. And that's what YouTube I know, and Google does. And that's does. why you got a motherfucker like me who digs on both sides. You ask both I'm questions. Giving you, I'm giving you this right now, and you're rejecting Wait, it. I'm not rejecting it. You accept it? I'm telling you that I'm going to ask it. You're rejecting me. You're no, yelling No, I totally like, accept I'm, what it I'm, is that you're saying. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to ask it on all sides. I reject I understand what, what it is the that algorithm you're saying. gives me. That I reject that. I'm. We are of the generation of searching. So if this is what this gives me and they're telling me that they're going to tell me what I want to hear so I don't rebel, now I'm going to look at the other side of the question. Oh, see those answers? Then I'm going to You really would dive have in. to be aware then enough I'm gonna really dive in. within yourself to be able to say, they're just giving me what it is that I want to hear. You would have to be that self-aware. That's where we're all at. No, most people are not that self-aware. 98% of people are not that self-aware. Like 98% of people news. want to be able to hear the things that agree with them. Mm. They want to be able to find things that agree with them. Yeah, I don't do a podcast for an echo chamber, dude. But most people do. Yeah, I don't. Most people do. Most people mm -hmm. want to hear things that agree with them. That's how they operate. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. I'm not saying about this podcast. I'm just saying No, I'm saying like that's a YouTube. scary thing because... It's the reality of the world that we live it's, in. It's a comfort space, but... But just being aware that, like, yeah, when you type some things in, because this ties into everything that we were talking about as far as something so subtle and stupid being a cypher rapper that went viral because it went on Twitter and shit. No, it ties into what's really happening with these apps and what they're doing and how they can control what people think via. If this happened, if, if, if my cypher happened when they had control, right now. For example, if say ciphers weren't popular right. and it was something that went viral, it would only go viral through like Instagram and specific peoples, and one person would get the recognition versus where it all went to the YouTube. It all went to fuck my YouTube, it went to that YouTube video. So that YouTube video got a hundred thousand views in four or five days versus. I get what you're saying, 2, bro. 2,000 views spread apart depending the people, right? I get what you're so saying. So the, the, the thing is, okay, now business-wise, where I was in my life, erase that. Where I am, business, bugs, boom. It's on my ship. I should have, boom, done a bunch of that, signed him. I should have done all these business things, right? Okay. All these business things I should have done for sure, but I didn't. And what happened was... A year later, apps, that's how quick. 2012, 2013, it went from no in Instagram was made. And this is four years before Facebook bought it. So I dealt with viral before viral was a thing. Yeah. I went viral on Twitter and I didn't have a Twitter. So understanding how these things work and they are, they just go. You know, I'm aware of that. So the incentive incentivizations, whatever word you want to, whatever if that's not a word, with a, a business or Instagram or like ads or whatever. Yeah, I dude, I totally, totally fucking get it. But the only way that worked is back to my point, where is it was on Facebook where it went viral and Twitter because we were sharing a YouTube link. YouTube was being shared I to Facebook you, and Twitter, but now Twitter's a different thing. And now Gmail owns YouTube, and now Facebook owns Twitter. He's evolved. So now they're opponents. So when you share your YouTube video to Facebook, you're shadow banned. Same thing on there. Same on these on these specific sites. So this is something that in 2015 I'm now having to adjust and understand. I'm like, okay, so what do I just upload this shit straight to Facebook? Like, it's the what do content, I do? Content, bro. How, how do I? So now it comes to consistent content. No, not you, consistent content. It's the type of content. But but no no no. It it turns into the links. No, it has I, nothing no, to do with the links, bro. I wasn't uploading straight to Facebook. I was sharing my YouTube link. I'm about to explain that's, to you. That's my point. It it the, so it, it what it what it has to do with but, is the content. And the reason why I say that is that if people it, are if not people are sharing it, it's being shared. But I get what you're saying, right? Like I get if you what have you're saying. The shares amounts. I get what but. you're saying, right? I get what you're saying. So if the if the content was based off of when shit was dropping, everybody was seeing everybody's content. 
then that's a different type of game. But that's not what we're dealing with right now. I'm not talking about. I'm just. That's not. I'm not talking about right now. Okay. I'm talking about that and where in that, per, in that period. Of time. I'm talking about why it transitioned into the propaganda business machine that it is now. Because okay, why they, you why they, it? They saw where the incentive could be implemented. That's what I'm saying. So between these different apps, this got bought, that got bought, that got bought. Now there are three. And by the way, the th- the people that bought them were the shit. Were the people running shit twenty years before they even became a thing. So the motherfuckers who run shit are still running shit that they were in 1920 and 1910 and like straight up. That's what it is, dude. That's what it is. So now we're talking about propaganda and now we're talking about wars and all these false I flags and, can I say and this, where though? we're at. And like, dude, it all ties. I guarantee all you that, that if we were talking about Cat Williams, if we were talking it's about all the same thing, no, nah, if we were talking about Cat Williams, if we were talking about, um, Benghazi, or not Benghazi, or um, no, let's talk about it. No, I'm just saying we. No, no, I'm not saying that we need to. <laughs> I'm just giving you the example. No, nah, no. Nah. If we were talking about the shit that's going on currently, then that would get more views. No, if but that was, would that would be a thing where that's chop it right now and place that. Well, I get that though. See, but but, if, but now if and if we I, can't do that. Say I say we say something that the app doesn't agree with. That well, that happens, bro. That has happened. I can give you that, but I'm gonna say this. It is happening. I'm gonna say this. If we take a moment to talk about Cat Williams, right? And you chop that and talk about Cat Williams, and then you link it to the podcast. Mm-hmm. The podcast is automatically going to get more views because of the things that we talk about with Cat Williams, right? Keywords, yeah. Yeah, but bro. the thing about it is, is that will they stay? No, they won't stay because most of the time we were not talking about Cat Williams, and that's what I'm saying. That's why these, this isn't. So the important. algorithm, so the, the, with the way the, the way the that. algorithm works is, is that if you talk about what the people want to hear, because the masses want to hear what they want to hear, mm-hmm. you just have to tap into whatever they want to hear. They don't want to hear what the fuck we're talking about. They want to hear what they want to hear. That's just the reality of shit. Mm-hmm. So if we talk about whatever the fuck they want to hear, then we're gonna get more views. If we don't talk about what they want to hear and talk about what the fuck we want to talk about, which is some highly intellectual shit, but that's things longevity. that are important. That's, that's my point. That's longevity there. So, like, this is this conversation can be timeless versus a current event. But you have to think about it, right? What is, say, for instance, we got all this timeless shit, right? Mm. But no one checks it out. Is it still timeless? Yeah. Because it ain't reached no time. I get it. Ta- ta- no, um, no, artistically, but no, like straight up. Uh, when, when we don't have a current event topic to talk about, but like we just talked about the the growth of it all, you know. So this is gonna be, this conversation is gonna. This is, by the way, the longest podcast I've done. I think we're right. at like we're almost at like fucking three hours. Because we have a great up. conversation. But like, because it's about time, and and this is something like as far as the your business aspect towards it versus my artistic aspect and experience with it and where we're at now and like we're aware that like okay we clip together a spot it'll go viral but that's not what we're after we're after real shit yeah and uh it being in the archive and um here's the thing i want my legacy to be remembered but but here's the thing right so let me let me push back at what it is let me push back let me push back at what you were saying right a little earlier you said earlier that you do care about what people think. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Everyone so, does, dude. Exactly. So here's the point, right? Here's the point of that, right? Mm-hmm. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. Mm-hmm. Here's the point, right? In order, for you, in order for them to care about what it is that you're doing, you have to talk about the shit that they care about. Mm-hmm. You, can't, you can't go into a space and say, I'm going to talk about what it is that I want to talk about and you're going to like it. It don't happen like that. So there's a yeah, there's no, a that, that's out of touch, dude. I'm not. It out is of out of touch. touch. So like, if we talk about, let's say we talk, we, let's say this whole podcast, and I'm saying that it's not saying that it should be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. But if this whole podcast was about Cat Williams and his interview with Shannon Sharp, mm-hmm. and we sat there and broke this whole thing down, argued it, had different opinions, whatever the case may be, that would go way more viral than us talking about right now. It would. Well, but no, what you you would say you can say right now, but you have to think about it, right? It going viral would put you in a position to be able to have the conversations about the shit that you 
that is really important to you, but without the viewership of that virality mm. of boosting you to this point, you won't be able to experience that. So either you're going to be at this level talking about the shit that you want to talk about, or you're going to get at a higher level and build a platform to be able to talk about using what it is that people want to hear mm -hmm. to get to that point and sprinkling in what it is that you want to talk about in those conversations, using them as a scapegoat. So what do you think about Kyle Williams? <laughs> You didn't even know how to look at me. <laughs> no, I, no, no, I, I, no. See what I, I mean, like, so what do you think about Kevin? Is? I, it's, you want to know what's going on in my mind when you said that? Can I explain it to you? Well, yeah. <laughs> I think that you heard what it is that I was saying. Don't I could be. No, I'm about to tell you what it is. I'm gonna tell you what I think. For real, I, I, bro, I don't bullshit at mm -hmm. all ever. I think that you heard what it is that I was saying. Mm -hmm. It's two. It's one of two things, right? Yeah. It's it's one, it's, it's, it's two. It's one of two <laughs> things. It's one of two things. It might be two. I'm gonna say the first one though. The first mm -hmm. one is that I think that you heard what it is that I was saying. It was like, okay, I'm gonna make that transition mm -hmm. and do it right That's now. That's exactly time. what it was. Yeah. Or it could mm -hmm. be, fuck this motherfucker. <laughs> no, nah, was it? Yeah. See, now, now you gotta decide. Well, I'm gonna. Now you gotta decide. Well, here's like, how I'm gonna take it. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm gonna take it as the first. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. But that's how I'm gonna take it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna look at it as a negative because I'm not sitting here like fuck this motherfucker. Like, no, nah, because really. I'm, I'm not. Like, what is, because I'm that would be foolish like, of me to yeah. think that because that's you'll what, see in the video. I'm like, mm -hmm. but that, no, that's ridiculous for me to think that mm -hmm. because that's ego there. That yeah. would be ego. Yes, and mm -hmm. so I don't look at it like that. I yeah. look at it like, man, Can't. my dog probably hear what it is and I'm saying to you. So it's like, mm -hmm. let's talk about cat. So Williams. let's put it on the spot. You want to talk about a current Can't. event? Let's talk about. Well, it. but it's not even just that. I'm just I'm using that current event as an example I, yeah but so am i See yeah exactly I mean? yeah, and so. we can't talk about it i mm -hmm. would love to talk about cat williams don't mm -hmm. get me wrong i would love to talk about cat williams so we can have a viral moment and you can clip save this it, save it for the next one <laughs> no nah, you can okay. clip this and do whatever the fuck like you want with it, and it, can be, it is but we can, you mm -hmm. can clip it how you want and you can mm -hmm. clip this and make this what Not it yet, is that could be the moment yeah. yeah and it could be the moment mm -hmm. and i would love for that i'm just saying that the point that i'm trying to make is that you got to meet the people where they at we can't have a conversation yeah. About what the fuck we were, unless we're Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. We're not Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. We're just us. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the conversation that we're gonna have to have is gonna have to See, be. See, but that feels weird to me. Like Joe Rogan is us, dude. The only difference is when he, he sore. The us. only difference is when he sore, he's getting fucking IVs and shit. Well, <laughs> you gotta understand that that, that when he sore, he's getting IVs. Can I say this though? Can dude. I say this though? Joe Rogan had to get to a point to be Joe Rogan. Yeah, like there were yeah. there were many podcasts that he was doing, maybe hundreds of podcasts. Dude. That motherfucker was, dude. Comedians go go out every night. They're not like rappers. It's not like doing sets and shit. Like I, as far as, as far as what I do, I'm a rap. I'm a comedian rapper. I do sets like comedians do sets. That's I love comedians. Not, and and as far as like hosting goes, like comedians talk about bombing like four times a week. That's because comedians are doing sets five consistently six days a yeah, week. Yeah, and they're working awesome. new material. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing with my shows. Mm -hmm. Every time you guys see me perform, I'm performing new songs. So that's exactly what it is. I took that work ethic to there. So with who I am as a musician, I need to be on fucking festivals doing our sets on the road and doing interviews and not interviews, podcasts like this dives into people's brains. But this can only happen when we're sitting and we have a moment to, to fucking So let me, let me explain something to you. We did that. We dropped the album, right? We dropped Morehouse Volume 2. Y'all check that out. It's on Spotify. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, Apple Music everywhere. Um, and initially, we thought that Letter to You was going to be our breakout hit, right? We thought that that was going to be the one. I'm sitting here trying to find it's ready never for what it. you think it is. Exactly, bro. They mm -hmm. like D2 crazy. They like um, no negotiations. Mm -hmm. They like real. They like, I think they like Johnny Bravo. And they like, uh, hey, what's the other one that they like, bro? I think it's five of them, right? It's Super Saiyan Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. I don't think they like. Nah, goddamn ain't on the album, bro. No, it's not. No, Johnny Bravo. Mm -hmm. So in our eyes, I didn't think that they was gonna fuck with that, but the people like what they want, so we have to give the people what it is that they want. Mm -hmm. And so if you understand the value of being able to give the people what it is that they want, then you understand the value of what it means to market. Mm -hmm. I would love to talk about Cat Williams. Let's swing it back to Cat Williams. 
Cat Williams is something that's going to help this podcast go more viral because we're talking about something that's current right now. Mm -hmm. Of course, you would have to do the work, chop it up. You know what I'm saying? We have fucking... Yeah, not, if I don't, not if I don't drop this shit for a month. That's what I'm saying. If you don't, if you wait a month mm-hmm. to drop it, then it's, that's the problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So See, that, you that's have to what be I mean. That sound, that's like to me as an artist. That's like you. But you got to meet the people uh, where they at, bro. Like, uh, you got to meet the people where they at. You can't be the type of person I am, to want to sit I actually have and just proof. chill how I have you want to do. I have proof that like that's the old you algorithm. Don't, no, 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 no. Not even that. It's about having the right recipe. It's not about the old or new. It's about okay. the right thing. And I'm not looking for the because it is one in a million. You're gonna strike gold and electricity type shit. But like, I I can't. I have to do what I do, and it's gonna happen when it happens. Type shit again. I'm not gonna pay twenty bucks for a Facebook ad. I'm not gonna do this and that. Like I will meet people. I'll rage. I'll meet you there. I'll do a cipher. I'll battle. I'll da- I'll do everything else. But I'm not gonna use an account. And pay for an ad. Like, I'm not like, even saying like, that right now. I'm that, just saying, no, 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 no. I'm saying in general, this is what they these apps are pushing. Like, that's if you want to talk about the shit that you want to talk about. Ad, ad. Well, no, this is what we're talking about. At pay ten bucks to get a thousand more views. This is what Facebook is offering. Can I say this to you? Though? This means that there is no true algorithm. Can I say this to you? It means it is that an algorithm. Everyone's paying. No for one it. is interested. And us talking about Facebook ads. Most people are not content creators. No, I'm talking about us right now. I'm talking about right now in this real time. Actually, most most people people are not interested in Facebook ads or content creation. Most people are. Most people go to a nine to five and work their job and then get on Instagram and scroll Instagram. You'd be surprised. Most people actually are content creators. No, they're not, bro. Yeah. Most people people run into a content creators. No. But most people, if you think about it in the actual world outside of the (laughs) circumference of where you operate, most people are not content creators the they're, they're, most people are, are consumers what facebook is using for weight against the actual content creators is that regular people are content creating they're using that as leverage against us for most people are not content creators bro most people just consume most people get on Facebook and scroll to consume. Most people go on YouTube to scroll to consume. They're not trying to get on there and create YouTube, any content. Yeah, not Facebook. Facebook too. That most people are not trying to content create. It's a it's a select few. So and what happens is is that when you operate, create, this is the difference. You're you're when you operate you're convoluting in that sphere, content create to like artists versus just regular people. What do you mean? Regular people are still posting pictures. They're still that's like not what I'm saying. Shit. That's what I'm saying is. But artists are now under this you have to thing of content creator. There's a there's a there's a certain type of person. That are looking to be successful in content creation, right? Mm-hmm. And so they have to understand that you can't go against the people who you are subscribed to. You are on YouTube and Instagram, mm-hmm. so they have a certain functionality. Mm-hmm. Most people who use YouTube and post pictures, they're not posting pictures to be able to get to a certain place in their life. Yeah, they're just posting. That's they're what, just that's posting. My point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So they're not content creators, they're just users. Do you see the difference? But so most people, most see, people are not on. content creators. They don't give a fuck about the algorithm. Technically, it's content. You can call it technical. You can say no, the technicality. No, no, it's content. It. If they post, it's content. Yeah, you can say the technicality. Because of, I'm a musician. Yeah, but, but if I post, I'm a content creator. You can say that technically it's content, but the 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 term content creator. That I'm using is someone who uses... Who is an artist. Okay. Not artist, but who create content with the incentive of being able to make money and a living off of the content of the creator. Any artist, any musician... Not necessarily. Any music... Okay, that's me then. I'm a motherfucker who doesn't care about views. Clearly. I post my art because it's how I feel. I don't post anything for views. So use me as the example. Okay. Talking about across every fucking genre. Mm -hmm. So I don't consider myself a content creator. Me saying that to you, how do you feel? You're gonna be like, no, you are. You make Facebook. You make no. Uh, that's you, not no, why. No, no, no. You, you're gonna be like, you do podcasts. That's not do, why. You do this. You're a con. You create content. We're podcasting, yeah. Okay, yeah. I create content, but I, I don't consider myself that. 
I consider myself a musician who has conversations with creatives, and then I post the full form of thoughts. I am not a content creator. I short form chop my shit so that it fits on these apps. So that's where I'm at. But what you are saying is that I am a content creator. I just straight up said, no, I'm not. I make art. I make music. Wherever it gets content chopped, that's what it is. That's the same thing for a person who's just posting a picture. It is all the same thing. See, th the problem is, the problem is the incentive with the algorithm. And this is my argument with it. Mm -hmm. it uh, completely against, I'm completely fully against the business incentive behind it. Because, okay, what if this person just posted some art and this person posted some art? This person really cares. This person doesn't. The person who doesn't care goes viral. But the person who does doesn't. Those emotions aren't weighed. It doesn't matter. This was objectively gone, right? But now, did this person pay for ads? Did this person do it? Now, it's like, now... Let's now, make them even. Now, Let's now, say that both of them did not pay for ads. How can and we make the person, it even? I'm about to say. Chronologically, show me. If I'm you dropped at 12 o'clock, I want to see yours. If he dropped at 1 p.m., I want to see Let's say they both drop at 12 o'clock. He dropped at 3, I want to see his One person care about his art. Care about their art, the other person doesn't, and this art goes viral. That's the point of art, though. Objectivity, subjectivity. Someone who thinks this is gold, someone else thinks it's shit. What does gold really offer? That's a great question. What does gold really offer? What is aluminum? All these things, unless you know how to put it in a phone. But here's the point that I'm what trying does to these make. What things really offer? Here's the point that I'm trying to make, just to draw you back in, right? Mm. Let's say that you have two people who are identical. Mm -hmm. One cares. The only difference is that one cares about their con, their, their what they're creating. Fuck who cares. No, it, what's I'm a, like what's objectively dope. I'm about to explain it to you, right? Mm -hmm. One cares, one doesn't. One mm -hmm. goes viral, one doesn't. The mm -hmm. one who doesn't care goes erase viral. Erase why they went. Erase why they went viral. Yeah. Well, you can't erase why they went viral because the reason of them going viral is the why. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You can't erase why they went it's viral. It's so whack they went viral. Yeah, it can, no, say, it not, yeah. it's not. It, 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 that, mm -hmm. that cannot be the reason. No, I'm using the example. I'm just. But I'm just saying that they saying. just didn't care about their art. They just put out some art and it went viral, right? Mm -hmm. People looked at it and said, "This right here, I like." The algorithm looked at it and said, "There's people that like this art." Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep pushing it out to more and more and more of your subscribers. Mm -hmm. And more and more and more of your subscribers like it. So now we're going to push it out to people that don't subscribe to you. Mm -hmm. We're going to push more and more of what it is that you posted out to people that don't subscribe to you. That's how the algorithm works. So the thing about it is, is that if you are a content creator, then you also are a business person. You can't have one without so the I, other. I guess you can't I be the person. My, I'm about to say this. My point is, I don't. You can't be the type of person. I don't person. think the algorithm is a robot. I think it's a person, dude. No, it is a robot. I think. I think it's definitely a robot. What it does is, it. I think the algorithm. You can't at have the core is selective. The, the the reason why is because the algorithm would have to differentiate between. There are some people who are not content creators. Right, that post daily for bitches. I post what I'm eating. I post where I'm going. I post what I'm wearing so that I can get more bitches for the clout. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't want no money. I don't want people to see me more. I just want the bitches that are in my motherfucking sphere to see me doing shit and think that I have motion, even mm -hmm. if I don't. Right? There's some people that do that. Right? Clip this, post this on your Instagram. Boom. There's some people, <laughs> however, right, that understands a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to influence the masses. Mm -hmm. I'm a content creator, so I'm creating content for people to consume. The algorithm is that 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 if you if you go down a bowling alley and you have those two like um, lanes up, you you understand what I'm saying? That you can mm -hmm. bounce up. That's what the algorithm is. The algorithm shows you what it is that people are actually interested in. So if you promote content or create content along the lines, like Cat Williams' interview, for instance, that we can still talk about. I'm going to do it this weekend. I'm going to do it. Like, when you leave, I'm going to make sure it's the point of what they're doing. I'm going to do my form of content of it, and I'm going to drop it. Like, I'm going to test it this week. We like, can still talk about real algorithm. Like, real you, algorithm We can still talk tests. about it, and then... but that Because that, if anyone's going to go viral, it's me, like, with, like... Quality with what along those lines, dog. Because, like I said, so tied into earlier, like not to cut you off, 
everything that I did in the beginning of the pandemic when I was doing remixes, I did before the 50 fucking live performances. You can't do it with one test. I did 50. You would have to consistently talk about what people are talking about in this in, in, gotta, these, mo- in these moments. I did and this. And see. I did this as a musician. I did a... When a musician like Justin Bieber dropped a song that week, I remixed his song that week, made the song title his shit, remixed it. That's only for people who fuck with Justin Bieber, though. I did it for every genre in the beginning of the pandemic. Was it a viral Justin Bieber song? Yes, they went viral. I had a couple of my Johns go viral, but it was only because of the keyword. It was only because of Justin Bieber name. At the end was in parentheses, Bugs Remix. Mm -hmm. So a couple, like... And Justin and Bieber's, it worked. Justin Bieber's not even the one that worked. It was like Cardi B was the one that worked and mm-hmm. like shit like that. Yeah, you never like, know. But it was because of the keywords. That wasn't because of the timing or the subject. It was keywords in my title. Mm-hmm. That was my experiment. Then I went consistent with the other thing and then everything opened back up. So everything completely changed. Where we're at now with the algorithm is feels like a free for all, but it's not because TikTok completely turned into Instagram three, four years ago. TikTok is not what it was, and everything is actually now a free for all, and it's kind of back to Instagram. But no one, no money's being made on these apps. The only people making money on TikTok, like I said, I was making money on Instagram and Facebook Reels and shit, and they were connected because it was Meta. But now with Gmail and YouTube and the Shorts, everything is now in a spot. It's and now that we've gone through it, because remember when this happened, it was 2013, 14, 15. Mm-hmm. Trump. Once Trump got in, things changed. Then the last election, dog, we are in a full on propaganda where things are now, like as far as these apps go. It's clear what you can and can't say yeah. before you get shadow banned or completely blocked. Yeah, there's certain things you can't and say. Literally. Literally. We're talking mm-hmm. about First Amendment type shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Where these corporations that are separate. And now it's like we, re- we refuse the right to serve you. Mm hmm. Like, if you walked into, like, this that's local crazy, Wawa, yeah. and they're like, yo, we don't want to serve you, that's just like, yo, we're not we're not letting you use our... It's the same thing, dude. This is the psychological... So, when I was using earlier about me being put in a box, the same thing about I would be a psychological person if I wasn't a musician. This mm-hmm. is where I would go, mm-hmm. and it would inevitably turn into some psychological, political shit, which is what I don't want, mm-hmm. what no one wants, this weird... Mm-hmm. Some people do. This weird divider... I don't know what the word is, but but the point is, my point is to end this. Oh, it's over. Shit died. Oh. <laughs> to, I'll say to, this to, to, to end the podcast, dude. Like, literally, it, it it does boil down to like our decisions and what we allow yes, to bro. happen, type shit. Agreed. But like, we do have to understand that there are powers that be that we are not agreeing with, and they are just yeah, I shifting people into yeah. these. Spots that they don't want to be and like, okay, it's comfortable because I'm in this section and like, nah, it's 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 really 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 weird, dude. I get it's, you. It's awkward. I get you, and, bro. And, and and I watched it. Like I watched me. I was a part of it, dude.